Hello! Again, I've missed the part where I take a thumbnail. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I thought the last few times I had the chance to do a thumbnail. Um, but never mind. I'm going to mute my devices just to make sure there are no interruptions. Oh, that's muted anyway. Hmm. I hate it with the iPad. I always seem to find the iPad mutes things differently. Uh, so those of you who are watching this back on replay, thank you for watching. This is my channel. Um, I do random lives just because I like to chat and connect with my audience. And that's what YouTube's about, small YouTubers nowadays. It's about, you know, community and socialising. So I decided to do a chilled out um, chatter while I paint today got this box and I'm just going to paint it. I've got a order, an order that's come in. <clears throat> I'm just going to move these mugs out of the way because I need to work on those but I'm just going to put them back out the way. As usual my daughter's sleeping so I don't know how long I've got and if I have to go I'll just go. So I'm going to pop the chat on and see who's here. Hello, I was going to say your name looks new. Oh, do you know, I have this really annoying voice. It's really, I don't mean to sound patronising. My voice is like a funny one. Anyway, yeah. Hi, Alexis Kit Enterprises or KIT. Uh, nice to meet you. Whereabouts are you from? I see you've got a picture. Are you, um, uh, I try to, I'm going to just take a little screenshot of your name so I can come back and find you later. I'm not very good at doing the old screenshotty thing while I'm doing a live and other bits and bobs. So my channel is all about mum life, shopping, not only really shopping but thrift shopping. It's now called a thing isn't it where before it was just sharing stuff you bought and, and special vines. Um, and life as a mum at the moment since I've been on lockdown I've, just, I've been doing some lives to chat and share what I do. Um, do you have a channel Alexis, do you want to mention what your channel's about? Um, I've not been putting links in the chat, but I've been telling everybody to go and connect with each other. Um, <laughs> thank you. I'm so glad I don't sound patronising. It's just that I have this. Um, I, I've, I'm a teacher by trade as well, so I'm used to teaching people and explaining things and trying to be positive about things and explaining things in a certain way. And a lot of that was with children. And I have got a daughter, so I tend to... My mummy voice comes on sometimes as well. But I think with YouTube, it's just an excited kind of tone of voice. So um, the East Coast of the US. So I've learned that Maryland is in the US, um, uh, New Mexico, uh, Washington. I've been sort of getting to grips with the geography of um, where everyone's from lately. It's um, helping me, really. I seem to forget where places are. And excuse the wet hair. I didn't shower until later on this afternoon. Just, I just one of those mummy things, you know. You freshen up in the morning, but then it's like a whole shower, makeup, and everything. Wash hair. It's going to take an hour. I just want to just get through the day. So I was going to start doing a tada list. Um, don't know if any of you guys know what a tada list is. If you do, pop in the chat. If you don't, if you're watching this back, put in the comments if you have one or not. Um, I find I'm too busy to write it out. I thought if I shared with you guys what I've actually achieved today, then, you know, you might forgive me still having wet hair. Um, <clears throat> I'm in England, so it's quarter past three in the afternoon. Um, my partner's just gone back to work. It was Monday, the 1st of June yesterday. So, yeah, so he went back to work and I've had that sort of different schedule. Um, he's been getting up way earlier than he normally would for work, which is great. He's been working the same hours every day, which is not like he normally would. And um, <clears throat> it's meant that I have been able to get cracking a bit earlier on. And I don't know, I felt so much better. No offence to him. I felt so much better that now he's out the house. You're a reseller. Brilliant, because I've got some, I do some eBay videos as well. So I'm just still trying to get going on. Oh, I mean, I've just jumped through the channel comments a minute there. Um, you are a reseller and a YouTube channel. So I'll come and find you later. If not, if you if you want to pop a comment comment in the comment section, not the chat section, when I come through, when I get to do my comments, I'll come back and see you from from there because it will remind me. Um, so you, you about reset related things. That's, that's good because it's nice to Massachusetts 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 Massachusetts. Um, how to say it? Um, great, thank you. Um, you love my organisation. 
I guess you're talking about all these boxes. It's so crazy how much these little boxes are each, but they're so brilliant. And each one, this is nothing to do with my reselling because I've only really just started this week um, to do reselling, reselling, because I have so much stuff I could just sell my whole house before doing anything else. I think my bread maker's just finished with cake. I made a banana cake. Um, but yeah, this is all like, and then there is some sort of crafting, because I have a crafting business, which was my therapy, really. It made me feel better. Um, so I do arts and crafts. I do it mainly to give to friends and family. So I have a cheaper present because it's quite hard having money to buy fancy presents all the time. And I really love to make really lovely homemade crafted things. It just makes me feel so better. Q, Chew, Massachusetts. Okay, sorry. I do. I did watch loads of American films, so I should know... Um, Chew. So now I'm going to imagine Massachusetts. I'm going to have to imagine a train on the back of that name, Massachusetts, with a train behind it going chew. Um, so that's how you spelt it. <laughs> so yeah, um, Massachusetts. So I've got to get painting because that's what I said I would do today. Um, but yeah, I've got. I suppose I've got my craft things in there. And what I do for my painting, my boxes. Um, when I launched the craft business last year. My boxes were, and this is these, these are things that when I get going, I mean, boxes are the worst thing to sell on eBay because they're big, they're bulky, they can break. Oh, that's okay. I'm just, an eBay auction's just finished, but it went higher than I wanted, so I didn't have to participate. Um, So I'm getting distracted. I'm doing that thing. I always do. Uh, This box, um, when I launched the craft business, no, what I was saying was, wasn't it? It was about eBay. I'm trying to sell beautifully hand this isn't handmade I, I didn't make it myself it probably was handmade but not by me um I buy the boxes I am looking for better boxes I found a supplier but I need to get rid of the ones I've got first and I've got two there I've got two grey ones and I've got three red ones in the loft with the Christmassy things um so once I've sold those I can then streamline the website a bit more um which isn't live and then I can list on eBay that they are flat pack and people need to then screw them together. We should bring down my shipping cost, my storage costs and, and, and efforts and also my production because it's easier to, to label and to align a flat panel. So this box, um, trying to get the best angle for you guys. Let's see you guys, um, there's only one person in the moment. Excuse my really bad habit right now. It's not a bad habit actually, it's only a day. I've got a bottle of Coca-Cola in my room because, my office, because I want to, I kind of thought, do you know what, coffee in the morning is right faff. Maybe I should just have some Coca-Cola lying around. We bought too much for cooking the other day. I do this gammon in a slow cooker in Coke. So this is my plain box. I've got to make it, I've got to prime it. But yeah, I have all my painting stuff in this basket. Um, so every time I need to paint the box, I just grab that and I can take it different places in the house. Hello, hello, who's now in the room? Uh, we have another person, which is great. Did promise myself I wouldn't announce every time somebody arrived because it's a bit sad, especially if there aren't many in the room. But welcome to my live stream. Thank you so much, guys, for coming. How are you both? I didn't ask Alexis how you were. Are you doing well? Um, so... I am painting, I said I paint, I've got my big mat if I wanted to, I might have to carry on later on outside with this because Annabelle will wake up and I won't be able to continue the live stream but I may be able to continue, um, I'll definitely have to continue the project because it's a big job. I haven't painted the box for ages but it did almost make me feel good to do it. So we are, I'm just going to put some paint in here. It's a bit messy and so hard to do it, but um, I actually need to take that downstairs. This is my old, I just like to, I don't know, I have these habits with my paint. It might be useful to go and get my paint in a minute, actually. Um, you just have to take my crafting as it is, guys. It's just a, a huge work in progress because I just get so busy. And lately, oh, I've got some already in here, but I'm going to have to stir it. Katina, hey, you are one of life's happy, chirpy people, Katina. So it's lovely to see you in my live, as I say, chat room, in my live video. Um, go and connect with each other, guys. Just um, look at look for each other's name and type it into YouTube. Don't worry about links. We're just going to um, 
Oh, I missed some bits. The chat's going wild here. So um, you'll be working to pricing comic books. And you are well. Good. My name. Oh, my name is Natasha. Sorry. It's kind of on my screen, but it's not, is it? Because I can kind of um, I've got my banner on the top. Let me show you properly, Natasha. Um, this channel was made about 2013, 14, 15. I, I, it, it was made later than I thought on a previous video. I mentioned it, but it was too late. Um, but actually, um, my, oh, sorry, my social details are there. But um, perhaps I will take all the banners off for a moment and just hide. That might be better so you can actually see what I'm trying to show you. I don't usually show stuff on screen. Hi, Katina, how are you? It's been a while since I've seen you. I've been so busy. I've not really managed to watch more lives lately. I found it really hard. And the thing with watching lives over in the east of the world is when you say hello that you're there, you kind of need to connect with people and chat with people. And I just feel like I don't have that time and that headspace at the moment. So for me, it just seems to be easier to uh, watch a few videos back and try and come back next week and watch people's lives again and just um, chin out a bit. So, yeah. Um, so there we go I'm very good actually I'm feeling better now I'm on I'm on YouTube chatting to you guys it's been um a tricky week actually um it's weird it says I've got nobody in here but the chat is still ticking along unless there's a time delay I don't know but I'm not going to worry about it I'm just going to get chatting 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 where's my English voice gone um yeah I'm good um I'll, I'll I'll answer your chat first and then I'll come back and talk about me. So um, you're busy with your job application, um, Mem. Is that as in mom, Mem, or is that as in, because I, I had a team of Filipina and Filipino guys working for me in my old business and um, they still used to call me mom, um, even though I said they didn't have to. It was quite sweet though. Um, but that was because I was their boss. So I'm doing okay. Um, I do love that thumbnail there on your screen, Katina, because I saw that a lot a few days ago when you did the live stream. Um, it, it popped up as a playback, and um, and it just it looks a beautiful dress. I love the dresses that you have. Um, so there we go. So I'm gonna pop my banner back on. Um, and I'm gonna ask you guys to tell me what you're up to. What have you guys been up to? What have you guys been doing? So I'm going to get my box ready for painting. Maybe I should just get painting because I'm that's the thing. I'm just gonna get it drying. Um this is going to be for a friend, but she's a customer, she's a paying customer. Um uh, this is going to be for a friend um whose friend's having a baby. This is a bit dry, but I think that might be a better thing. So the pink when when I sell things to people, people say, oh, can you do this? Or can you do that? I've not really been pushing this business very much. Um, but what I do, I'm just going to kind of go for the middle at the moment for now. But what I do is I, you guys can't see if I'm, <laughs> you guys can't actually watch me paint, can you? I'm not sure if that's why you're here anyway, to just watch the paint strokes. Um but I'm not very good at painting. I try my best and the boxes are always popular. They're not really, really expensive at the present. I'm just kind of testing the market. Um, and once I get better boxes, I'll be able to do them quicker. And then the price can be more linked to my efforts. At the moment, I'm just trying to, I have to turn it around, sorry. The comments, let's pop into the comments. Oh, bless you. Oh, I see. Yeah, I forgot that name. I forgot that was your alias name. Let me just um, 
screenshot that bit so I remember okay cool thank you very much you're on a live stream too lovely so um I promise I will come back and see you on live stream Katina um you have been supporting me in the past by coming on to my live streams um at least one maybe two so that's really lovely thank you very much um oh I wasn't going to go on the top there never mind it's fine uh I planned a way right to I am jumping back and forth in conversation, so do remind me if you feel like you want to, um, if you want to uh, remind me of a point that I was talking about that I haven't finished, please do go back to it. Um, so this is a bright pink. I've, I've forgotten the point I was just saying. Um, but, yeah. Um, I've lost it. I'll come back to it. But this this pink is going to be really well suited for the client's destination, or should I say, the client's recipient, um, because she loves pinks and purples. So the thing is, I put several coats on my baby boxes to really give them a good even coverage. I was saying earlier, that's what I was saying. Um, I was saying that I have a bit of a plan to be able to paint this in less sessions so I can rotate and cover all the all the surfaces without getting any paint anywhere else. And I haven't really achieved that. Because if you think about it, I've got to do the inside and the outside and, uh, and everything. But I was... Um, I was going to mask the bottom of this to, I have actually got makeup on, it looks like I haven't, but I didn't put a lot on, I just put a little bit on. Um, the thing is, because it's a light box, it's hard to, to do, but if any of you got any tips, that'd be great, but it's just a kind of, I think I've probably got to be a bit less, a bit more, a bit less perfectionist with things, but, um, yeah so what have you guys been up to lately how is lockdown for you have you gone back to work are you still working am i selling medicine no i'm not selling medicine i'm selling gift boxes for babies this is a box for babies um but i have an aloe vera business um that i can put a link to later on in my bio um which is not a medicine but aloe vera helps people to feel better and that kind of thing but no, I don't sell medicine, darling. Um, what made you ask that question? All the stuff in the back. They're definitely not bottles. They're boxes of... Okay, I could do a live unveiling of all my boxes one day, but I'd have to clear the floor a bit more so you can get there. I've sourced a lot of stuff recently, and they are in here for me to get filming and listing, basically. I've got to get... Um, my stuff out there because I have too much. I have too much stuff um, that I've sourced, which is great because we've had the lockdown. Um, but I have been sourcing. I hope the painting isn't too loud either. Mm. So, what job application are you going for? Can you tell us, Katina? Can you tell us what job you're applying for? I'm going to try and come and do a live again later and show you guys the next stage. I just need to keep pushing myself to do live videos while I'm not going out and about because I'm pretty much isolating, really. Um, I'm not going to any shops. I'm not going to uh, see friends and stuff. I've been meeting up with my mum and my dad um, to see them. But we've been distanced the whole time. But I'm not, what was I saying? Yeah, I'm just cutting off a bit from society just to have a bit more, a bit more wellness, a better, I just have a bit more time for me to get stuff done. And now my partner's gone back to work. I'm still staying at home because I get more time to do things. Um, I did mention to Alexis earlier. Um, by the way, thank you guys so much for joining me. It really does make me feel happy that there are people watching my live video. I'd be so sad if I had nobody. I'd be like, oh my God, nobody likes me. Um, but come and network. Have a look at each other's channels. No links, but just go and see each other. Um, 
unless we've got Katrin and Jerry together, which is cute because then that would be that's just nice. That is. Um, we've got. I've just forgotten what I was saying. I'm so scatty this morning, this afternoon. I mean, that's right. I was going to say I forgot to tell you about my ta-da list. So what have I achieved today? We have to be kind to ourselves. Maybe I should include more wellness thoughts of how people can help their wellness in my live talks to help people take away one little tip to improve their life. The the wellness is, um, so my to list is feeling better for what you've achieved rather than thinking, oh my God, I haven't done this, haven't done that. My to-do list is getting bigger, blah, blah, blah. But I have made banana bread. I'll see how it comes out in a moment. I'm going to go and check it. I have put some food in the slow cooker. Okay, so I didn't prepare that. I just prepared it a few weeks ago, put it in the freezer, and I defrosted it, and it's gone into the slow cooker. And I've cooked some rice already. So dinner is sorted. It might not be amazing. It's pork with cranberry and cranberry jelly with orange jelly. But this time, no green beans. But I've put it on a bed of carrots. We haven't got many veggies in at the moment. We had too much stuff in and now we have not enough. But I'm trying to wind down all the cupboards and stuff because I just don't want too much stuff in the house for food purposes. I have put on a load of washing and hung it up. I've put on a second load of washing and that's done now. I've done several loads of... Yeah, now I've got paint on me. Several loads of... This is where I have my basket. And has it got wipes? No, but we've got some here. So I hope you guys are well. Are you guys actually healthy and well today? Oh, my daughter's awake already. I may have to go. I may have to go. Um, She's got up. She's got up. Okay, Annabelle, you got out of bed to see mummy. Are you there? Are you there?
guys i'm back i am back it's uh i don't know if anyone's still here oh you darlings you stayed you stayed my voice my accent seems to change my my video voice seems to change all the time but um and i've just woken up it's the best one yet on my lives because <laughs> normally i have to cancel the live and once i just had to go back and edit because she was like oh, oh, really grumpy so i had to just kind of chop the sound off and re-upload it she's just having a minute you watch as soon as I get this paintbrush out, she'll um what have I missed? Nothing in the comments. Okay, that's fine. Uh so I'm still asking you guys to pop down what you're up to, what you've been doing, what you're planning on doing. Um all of the above. <laughs> Told you, didn't I? As soon as I get this bit. It's alright, darling. She wants a little snack. She wants a little snack. When Annabelle's in the office. She, or you can see her. She has um, stay home, stay home, stay home. What, what? Saying sorry? Why? Why? You don't need to apologise to me. Mommy. Look, look. Uh, I'm very hungry. Well, I don't think you're very hungry, but um, <laughs> I've got to make you peanut butter. So you're going to sit on the chair. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have an over your toes, darling. You see. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Um, so what we do is we have this little snack box where we have a little oat cake and peanut butter. And these are so brilliant. They advertise these quite a lot for children. And I have a little plate. Can you have a little bit? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but I need to get you a little plate. So I have a little, I have my little thingies. These go into the power reserve. Wow. These go, these just go back in the dishwasher. So I've always got plates, but they're actually lids to my storage boxes. Um, and we just have this little snack time where Annabelle absolutely loves it. And once or twice, she's had a spoon of peanut butter if there's been nothing else. But it's a really good snack for a toddler, peanut butter. Yeah. Isn't it? Because yeah. of the protein. <laughs> and the oats going with it. The only thing you really good to pair it with that I haven't got that she doesn't eat. We had some downstairs is a slice of apple. If you have a slice of apple with peanut butter, then it gives the body <laughs> a bit of fruit nutrition as well. But there we go. So there. Have you got your water? Here's your water. This is another project I do. I decorate water bottles with names and logos. I just haven't had a lot of time for doing it, so I've not really achieved a lot over the last six months with it. But before it was a, it was a. I don't get a lot of time here. <laughs> okay, okay. Don't clog my table up with it though. <laughs> really? It's okay. See, before I could give her a dummy to keep her quiet, but not doing lives because she wasn't doing dummy. Okay. You want your food? You want your tray? Well, one's mummy's. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna spread it. Okay, I'll tell you what, you spread it. <laughs> you spread it. Okay, my darling girl. Right. You watch, she'll quieten down now. Hey, darling, it's okay. I love you. Look, you darling, it's okay. Hey, come on. Come on. She always wakes up in a grump now, that's the thing, lately. Oh, right. Okay, okay, that's good. Well, I thought it would cheer you up to give you something to mess about with on your food. What do you want? Just eat it like that? All right, go on then, you eat it. I hope everyone can't see this great big back watching over. I hope it's a pleasant view. There we go, she's happy, she's got food. <sighs> Nam Fan Rang, nice to meet you too. Thank you very much for coming to see me in my live stream. You're very, very welcome here. Um, please connect with each other. Oh, Victoria. Oh, I'm really happy you've come to my channel. Um, not doing anything reselling talk as such, not really eBay thingies, but I have got one of my boxes and painting. Um, so, yeah. Um, how are you doing? It's really nice to see you. Uh, I did see your life pop up this morning but I haven't uh I, I just wanted to I didn't want to be in the background I wanted to be like chatting but I just didn't have the energy to I've been doing 
mummy stuff with Annabelle binge it. She's just done. <laughs> you can see her. She's just eating some peanut butter. Just she's just woken up basically. But I thought I'd do live and paint I'm making a box for a little girl who's who's to be born anytime. You know, some get born early, some are born later, aren't they? So and uh my daughter woke up a bit early from her nap and um so how are you doing? How are you? Guys, uh, Victoria does a live show. She's from the US. I'm not sure if Alexis is still with us, but if you have a look at Alexis up, up the top, um, I think from the picture it's a lady, because Alexis is a girl's name, isn't it? Um, my, my eyesight's not very good at, at such a small size. Um, but Alexis uh, is... Yeah, that's got to be a girl, hasn't it? That's definitely a lady. Um, and so, so yeah, she's a reseller. So she said she's pricing up while she's listening. You can, guys can go back through the chat and double check. Um, I forget a lot of things while I'm talking on a live stream. Uh, but Victoria does a show with other resellers. And they chat all sorts of stuff, but there's also reselling bits in between. So it's nice for me to go and watch their show. And um, loads of resellers watch the show. So it's really great networking space if you're into reselling. Um, so trying to get some listing done. I say that every day and just don't don't get there. Um, thank you. I think she's beautiful, but she is my daughter. So I'm definitely biased. Um, but I'm very blessed that I've had that lockdown time with her uh, so that she can, so I can spend those precious bits of time with her. But as I was saying, I don't have much time for things. I am effectively a stay-at-home mum at the moment, so I don't have the childcare to get anything done. My partner didn't do the childcare when he was off for nine weeks, eight weeks. Um, so I did my YouTube instead. And I kind of pushed the, pushed the issue there, really. So um, I haven't really had time for business planning and so on to to work on the strategy of what my life is about and what I'm doing but I'm just bumbling along but today's been a good day I've, I've my mood wasn't so high but um it's um it's been better uh the I know P the pixie pixie the shamrock pixie she does a show um um called about mental health and things like that and I do like to mention bits of mental health as things go on I'm one of those people who gets a slight bit of low mood it's not being diagnosed or anything as depression but for me I think it's high functioning when you actually do function as a normal human being you, you're able to complete everything that a non-depressed person would do but you find it really hard and tiring and you just feel like you're drained and you're just kind of I would love to explore it more but I feel like it's good to be honest about it and to share and to grow and to help other people and to make it a real thing um so yeah Victoria I'll explain in a second yeah I'm pleased you asked um so I felt a bit of a bit drained but since I've done some baking then I faked it in the bread machine but I put some food in the slow cooker so dinner's sorted not that I'm the housewife type, but, you know, we, we're getting there as a family, um, getting the balance. I've taken over the washing duties again today because my partner does it. He's a bit behind. He's gone to work. Um, so our routine's all changed again now. So I'm feeling a bit better this afternoon, and I'm feeling better now on a live. I'm just going to turn that down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do lives while my little one's here, but we can very much try. Um, so this box, as Victoria has asked, is, do I paint it? So I don't make these because it's just not cheap enough. It's not easy enough to make them. Um, I would like to be at the point where I have enough items to sell bulk packages where I can list one item but have 10 in stock kind of thing to make it easier to, to make hampers. But instead I do custom hampers. So yes, I paint the boxes in different colors. We've got grays, Christmas red, um, white, and that's all the, the colors. I'm trying to keep it streamlined at the moment. Um, and then I propose to people, I haven't really got on the upselling so much, but with friends, I do this consultation service where I ask them, what do they want? 
right? And what's your budget? Okay, well, I can do this, 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 this. What do you think? Yep, great. What about this? I'll say, yep, I could do that. So this one is going to be, I don't want to say the name in case I'm sure she won't be watching. So don't, you never know who watches your channel because there's a lot of incognito, not incognito, but people who are non identified, which is fine, um, who watch and you never know who's watching. But this is going to be for my friend's friend's daughter who's on her way and she's going to fill it with, with a few bits so we, we I talked about whether she wanted a basket or a box or a crate or a, a you know keep so this is going to be a keepsake crate my friend has already bought a walker not a walker a pull-along toy that she's going to I should show you a bit more these bits so she's going to it's so hard to paint when it's a movable object I could weigh it down but that's still going to be I don't want to damage the box by weighing it down too much and I didn't mask it down I just thought get painting and I can mask a bit off later when I've got the time and because I'm talking I'm not doing my special sequence of painting either um, I'm gonna go for the inside now I so my friend's got a pull along toy so it needed to be a big box for her to use um, I do only do one size box at the moment. When I change supplier and run out of this stock, I will have a smaller and a bigger one. Slightly bigger and slightly smaller. Um, and again, I'm not focusing on my paint strokes. don't want to get my hair in this either. Um, so she's also got... Um, I can't remember what she's... She's bought a onesie. My, my friend's bought a onesie from me, a baby vest, for a different friend. Um, I think she just found one while she was out and about that she liked, so she bought that elsewhere, but that's that's fair enough, that's fine. Um, at least I get to make the personalised keepsake item. I'm really not doing great on my, uh, that's my alarm to say Annabelle's due to wake up. My paint strokes, I need a bit more of a left-handed painting, not a good idea. I'm trying to do it all in one coat. Um, so what's going in the box will be, I will suggest to her, I've already suggested to her to pad it out at the bottom with padding and then shredded paper to add to that da -da effect. And then when she has her other two items, she will send me a picture of them and the size and stuff and then work out what's what's left. I might make her some packaging for the baby vest to make it look cuter, whether it's like a little gift box or something with a, uh, a cardboard, a card box made of pretty, pretty paper and card. Um, or, and, and then an acetate, clear acetate top to it. Hope you guys are chilling out with the paint strokes. Hope it's making you feel more relaxed. Um, and then what I would suggest to her then is, because I this I'm just doing her for a certain price, the box as of as mates rates, because she is my best friend, um, is I will suggest her a few other different bits to go with it that I can personalise. Um, I'll, I'll basically just go through my stuff, my stash of baby items um, and present a load to her, kind of like a shopping channel, I think. I'll just say to her, look, you know, um because she wants me to but she wants me to supply her with a few other little bits but she'll know what she wants really but I, she's one of those clients who knows she knows exactly what she wants there's no no hassle no drama she's very clear and she's very appreciative as well of anything I try and do so so that's that um what's going to go on it though I haven't told you about is I do the vinyl decal so I design I don't just paint the box I design the um, I design the name lettering and choose the, the, the right kind of vinyl to cut it out of and then I send it to my machine and it cuts it and then I have to pick out the other one was for mummy sweetie wasn't it? We can have dinner in a little while but for now no. you're finished. Do you want the more now? Okay, I'll tell you what we can do. I'm just going to get Annabelle set up with another activity for a second. Do you want to do some sticking, darling? Yes. Do you want some sticking? Don't forget, you can go to your classroom and make a little um, 
when you finish, darling, you mustn't go back because you won't get your tickets. You'll have to, you have to go on to the end and press finish, okay? Um, I've got Annabelle on the iPad because, to be honest, um, I'm going to come back to your comments in a second. Um, because, to be honest, um, oh, yeah, with the I'll do the day count and then I also pick a symbol. Um, I need to do more portfolio pictures before I sell stuff. I end up giving them, giving the products away before I photograph them. But I do some pretty pictures at either end as well. And then they can have the date of birth or a message inside or in the back. I haven't really gone to town on that, but there's all sorts of lovely things I can do. Um, so um, I do love making them. Hey, what's the matter? Okay, lovely. We finished that one. Life with a toddler, guys. Life with a toddler. I do love making the gift boxes. Because, that, what letter is this? Is it huh, for happy? Can you find it on your table? <laughs> oh, bless her heart. She's just a little bit funny. There's Play Doh in here. That's, oh, yes, that's the letter P. P for. Oh, well done. When the song's finished, we'll press the button on. Um, so I do love making the gift boxes more because... Sorry, you want the crying? More so. Well, look, if I give in, give you one, I won't have one, and then I'll be letting you give in. I don't want Play-Doh. No Play-Doh. What about the bubbles? No, I don't. Wow. No to the bubbles. Really? But well, look, you weren't supposed to have three. One of them was for mummy. But no, you only normally have two, don't you? One or two. That's that's it. I'm going to have to put my foot down. Now, what? let's get you distracted into something else. So, sorry. Um, What have we got to entertain the next <laughs> one? You see, I wasn't expecting her in here. Stickers! Stickers! I know, she's chucking everything away. You see, um, Victoria, I've started a bit of reselling, but I'm only really like a week in. I've, I've collected a load of stuff um, to... Uh, I've collected a load of stuff recently, and um, it's definitely stuff that I can sell on because it's too much for us to use. And um, so, But I've just filled my office floor with it, so <laughs> I need to... For, for keeping Annabelle in here to do some work on a day... Um, then I can oh some lovely chats come in. Let me get back to you guys in the chats. Um so Victoria here, um when you were young you wanted to get into the gift basket business. Well I'm a bit of a I kind of have all these different ideas and all these different things and I find all these lovely things to put in the gift baskets. But I never commit to a design and then before I know it I have a, a less of each piece to make up a an item to list and have like four quantity and make it easier. I end up having individual baskets, but then I never photograph them to sell them because my baskets have got handles on or I think it's a confidence thing. So at the moment, I'm just kind of plodding along with that aim. I haven't got my goals <laughs> sorted and I'm just kind of, yeah. So reselling is easier, or at least at the moment I'm selling my old my old <laughs> stuff. Annabelle, it's okay. Oh, baby things. This is a nice little book there. Oh, little boy. Um, so today I've decided to get the app out and let her have a play on the app. I might have to put her favourite video on in a minute um, just to let me connect and get into that zone a bit more. Um, but I might end up regretting the, the gift business because it's a lot of faff. But reselling, just selling products or selling your old stuff easily is easier because you just list something. You haven't got a lot of interaction with people and time bound things. You've got a day or two to ship it and it's gone, isn't it? So we shall see. I don't think I want to get into the wedding side of it though because I've heard there are a few bridezillas. Um it's absolutely lovely making boxes for people for babies who are born, haven't been born yet and they're on their way. Um for families I've done a toy box one, um I've done a little boy's book box so he has his books in there. Um I must get painted some of these edges before they dry now let them stop being a bit um this is probably going to need a bit of sanding down between the next coat just to cover some of my dried up bits that have dribbled down um yeah and then they use it as a toy box as baby gets older or books or dressing up box um i haven't done any disney ones because i don't like to cross over with the copyright you're not allowed to do disney fonts and that kind of thing um i want to do some for granddads but we're only a week or two away but i've got two gray boxes painted so i can i can literally just photograph them Mommy. 
tricky because I gave her some lovely rice vegetable dish for dinner earlier with some sausages, sausage meat, and she didn't eat a lot of it. So I'm not 100% sure how hungry she is, but she's had two of these. She should be doing all right. Well, look, I will do it for you because I think I need to still speak to these lovely people who come to see me on my video. Um, mm, I can't talk, sorry. And the date of birth, I haven't done it yet, but there's space for two bits of text, you know. Um, so welcome, Claire. Lovely to see you. You normally listen while you're cooking or sorting the kitchen out. Yeah, I think with lives in the UK, because you don't need to network and mingle and chatter and follow channels and stuff, it's just nice to put it on and to hear real human beings of what's, what's going on. So you kind of feel, it makes me feel better listening to other people's stuff I think lately because my partner's been home I've not had the audio on because he gets a bit ratty um because he thinks I'm not doing anything productive if I'm listening to people's YouTube videos um but I really enjoy listening to YouTube videos of people human beings talking live talking about their life even if there's no top no topic even if there's no benefit to anyone to watch it but the experience of being there watching but I find it so important to connect anyway um, you know, even if it's just a one way to be able to see um, what other people are doing, um, and it makes you it makes you feel validated if other people do things like you do. Like if you hear someone who says, "Yeah, um, I always get distracted while I'm painting too, and have to sand off the edges," and little little nuggets like that, they make me feel so much better knowing that I'm not the only person in the world who does it that way. And it's a bit of yeah, it's a strange thing. Um, I'm really pleased that you find my chatting calming um, because I don't feel like I chat calmly. I'm like a big yabba, 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 yabba. I just keep yabbering on um, and I've always spoken really, really fast, which I think was one of the symptoms of anxiety. Um, if you find yourself talking faster than normal, your, your pace is like, you know, super, super fast. Um, and um, so I have... I do feel like I did used to motivate people quite a lot. People do sometimes say they have good energy, and I think I forget that sometimes. So it is nice to hear that. Um, and I think sometimes because I do certain things and do struggle with life occasionally, that when I do a blob of paint just landed in the bottom, but it's, it doesn't matter because it's supposed to be there. The whole thing is going to be painted. I'm just going to sweep up that little brush stroke. I really have done myself a disservice here though with the space I've got because I haven't given myself a lot of room to move it's getting hotter and hotter I might need to get myself a fan because my hay fever is starting to give me a bit of a nightmare I think it's I don't feel too anxious now Jason I thought about you and I thought nah you're going to be at work so um, thinking outside the box escape rooms is, um, so Claire Woods, it's lovely to see you here if you have a child as well, so you know what's going on, you know how it is, and again, that kind of motherhood, we need to stick together, us girls. Um, so Jason is here, thinking outside the box escape rooms is my friend from the real world, um, who I haven't been able to see, because we're on lockdown, um, but um, we usually have a catch up every now and then and good old chatter um, and his business is thinking outside the box escape rooms escape rooms so they are real life places to go but his website and his Facebook have things to keep you going if you're stuck indoors going crazy um, so you've said how about crates for plant pots yes for the granddads I'm gonna screenshot that one um, yes granddad's pots granddad's potting box granddad's little seedlings lots of love his little seedling johnny east um june 2020 i can definitely make a few mock-ups of that thank you very much for that idea um you guys should definitely connect um with each other everybody because um as you can see jason contributes a lot of good ideas but he is uh, very very clever he's a trained well Jason, you can toast her. I don't want to keep keep being the one to tell everyone's business. I don't. I hope I don't tell too much. Anyway, I, I hope to not. Only I hope only to communicate what's valuable to people. Um. <clears throat> so yeah, Mark's back at work, and it's up and down. It's kind of 
weird because life hasn't gone back to normal. I'm not going out and about seeing everybody, running around going from baby club to baby club and trying to do stuff, trying to do groceries, trying to do housework and and then the rest of the time is you know, I don't know. It I am doing that sort of stuff, but I'm I'm not able to explain what I'm trying to say. <laughs> It hasn't gone back to normal because I need to replace my income. I need to find the right income stream that works with no childcare. Because before, I used to be able to take Annabelle to my nan's an afternoon or two a week. And I might get two to three hours of time to crack on with stuff, whether it was errands out and about or or whether it was... Um, physically you know actually coming home sitting here and doing stuff that required my attention focus uh, my brain focus uh, and then I also also used to do the same I mean I would be losing a lot of time to to seeing my family and chatting with them I wouldn't be able to say oh here's six hours of childcare." um but I would be going from um <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it's nice of you to say so. I feel like I haven't been online projecting that smart image, but those who stick around long enough, they'll, they'll see my little light bulb moments and the value that I can add. Um, but <laughs> it's funny. So, um, just drawn a blank. Just, oh no, childcare. So, I would also drop my daughter off at my mum and dad's on a Sunday. And then, again, because I'd be hanging out with them, chilling out with them, even if I took her for morning and afternoon, she'd have her nap there. Um, I wouldn't get the full day. You know, there'd be lots of stuff going on. And, um, yeah, so so I had nursery. Annabelle had five sessions at nursery before this all cracked off. Cracked off? Who says that? Um before it all happened pop in the comments what you guys are up to right now what you have been doing since i saw you just give you something to do while i'm head down painting 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 i don't know where my accents come from today but when i was when annabelle was having that childcare at the nursery initially i was just like oh my god oh my god and I had a few bits to take care of a few things to crack on with and then because it was such an anxiety provoking time a few of my mummy friends would meet me for coffee literally next door to the nursery so we'd have a catch up and we'd talk about mummy issues and helping each other out with psychology and just like trying to understand our lives and make sense of things and our partners and why men do things they do and blah 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 blah, blah. and um so i didn't have the childcare from the nursery time so now i've got even less childcare my partner doesn't he, he takes annabelle to the park half an hour that's a new habit i'm kind of trying to work out what i can actually achieve with a toddler right now right with me um there is a youtuber who's really got a big business from what i see well done annabelle she literally doesn't do work in her office she's got a four-year-old with special needs and he and she does stuff in her lounge with him but she sells pharmaceuticals like lem sips and and nose sprays and stuff that's really small and easy to photograph and move about and i've got things like clothes and toys that i need to photograph i'm struggling to get the lighting or the background for it something for something that big um so i've been putting that off um, but the crafts thing, as long as I don't kind of go too crazy and too cheap with my creations, well, the crafts thing is something that makes me feel better. It's creative and fun. Um, so the craft thing is, is brilliant for me because it makes me feel brilliant. And I'm trying to film what I'm doing at the same time so I can stick it onto YouTube or maybe split it onto another channel and have something productive come from that, you know, helping other people generating views for the channel and so on um arms are aching a bit more now um yeah keep, i'm glad i'm wearing a vest today not a t-shirt it's the one thing i've not done since i started this business because it's been quite cool in the cool months when i used to do my painting and i used to do this on the kitchen table actually um i did one in the kitchen 
I did one in well, I did one in the lounge at night time just sort of finish off the coat watching telly one night it's not the best angle balancing this onto a lap tray and that kind of thing so Claire says just clearing up my kitchen as my husband has been sanding our kitchen door is your hubby the kind of chap who would not hoover up or he would hoover up but he wouldn't wipe up the little thin the fine bits and then or are you just so brilliant that you're just right there to hoop to, to, to sometimes I'm just like because he's so bad at cleaning up after himself I'm right there following him with a cloth um like when they move around the lounge and then they leave all the dust behind the sofa and then they put a, a, a cabinet on top of it um it, it's great talking about people and their little quirks and what they do um so my partner spent two weeks painting the we had because of a former comment I made on a YouTube video that oh I haven't got perfect kitchen my house isn't always tidy da, da, da. it isn't the most modern type modern kitchen he decided to paint the kitchen <laughs> bless him so we have got a new kitchen um shelf um so do I still do point notes yeah so um that means you were in my previous video my brain I do forget things so sorry if you've been before and I've forgotten um yeah so I've got point notes on my banner on on my stream yard to remind me of things I wanted to talk about oh, so good reminder there to have a look at them because it is there is a, there are a lot of things to talk about and um so one of them was how busy I've been I've not been watching everyone's live videos but I'm trying to catch up um and tell me what you're up to paint with me what we're doing right now so this is going to be a little baby box as i've said but i'm also making later on my next my next project for later on when when this is dried and i've done enough coats that i can't do anymore or i can't it's still wet basically i'm going to be making a baby vest with the name um oh because she might be following me too i can't say the baby name but and that might be an interesting video i'll have to do it in retrospect it's um a heart in beautiful gold glitter but i need to do an unboxing as well look at me wielding a paintbrush jason's got a comment i'm going to come back to that in a second um jason is the escape rooms chap um this is a beautiful beautiful gold and um if you want anything with this on let me know and i'll give you a quote because i've got loads of it and this isn't the right one for little babies that is a really really hard wearing um, she's off to watch telly now, I think. I will play. This is really hard. Maybe go to the toilet. Who knows? It's a very hard wearing vinyl, and the glitter um, can be washed up to 60 degrees. It's a really tough one. So that's a great one for sports wear, I guess. But when I did a scratch test on it for a baby vest, that's why I thought it'd be great for a baby vest because it can be washed at a high temperature um, and it, will, it can really be worn a lot with baby, you know, all the baby cuddles and all, all the friction on it, keeping it fresh. But then I did the scratch test on it and some of the glitter came off from my fingers and I thought, oh no, I really had to scratch a lot. I just thought if there's a chance that one little bit of glitter can go in the baby's face and the baby's eye, I thought, no, no, need a different kind of fabric. So um, the, the iron-on stuff I've got in a big box at the end of the room to do a video on and check that out later. So baby vests and these are my things at the moment, plus the packaging that goes with them. So I took a delivery of some foldable postable boxes so I'll make that as part the whole package um that's my sister's boyfriend she's got a new boyfriend um she's uh his brother has just had a baby so I'd like to make one for them or at least my sister can have it as a gift from me to help her give the present to them for less money because she didn't have to pay for it kind of thing um so I'm going to experiment with a few different designs and formats for giving them a really pretty gift I'm going to wrap it really nicely I'm going to put some cute little bits of sprinkles and roll um string kind of stuff around it and and maybe some cute little pictures on the box with the vinyl designs cut out as well um because like I said I want to be the sort of higher end of the market really so that I'm not trying to just bash a load of stuff out quick for cheap you know that, that I am not run ragged doing orders for pennies um I'd rather do some good craft work craftsmanship work um and so on so yeah so that is one of my pointers networking that was one of my pointers claire to to um i've mentioned it already um for you guys to connect with each other um and uh but on that theme actually i was thinking 
of doing I don't think I can sort of do lots of different shows because that might be a bit hard for people to keep track of and people might expect a show once a week but I did think of doing perhaps not a show but a an irregular but fairly frequent interview style because if I'm using my talents of connecting people um I'm 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 used to teaching things showing things networking I think if I did a little mini interview occasionally with another youtuber who's a reseller then I can do the resale I think it would add an extra dimension to my channel and again it would be beneficial to introduce more viewers to that person's channel and again it's more um, content on my channel so what do you guys think do you think and because of StreamYard it's easy to pop someone on the channel you know who I've pre-organized to join to join me I'm just going to go and see what number I was doing because I can't see who on the monitor here but pop in the chat if you think that'd be a good idea and even if you'd like to to do that obviously I need to vet you first make sure you're not a troll not that you are of course but I did see someone hop on a channel the other day she's just sat there the monitor's twisted around she's just sat there watching can you believe it by the dinosaur but it's a new dvd we found in the shelf um so yeah um okay so jason says it's good to do things that make you happy and clear the mind it it takes ages to paint boxes okay i'm gonna get a different brush but it is it is oh, i can't say how grateful i am guys for you coming in here and seeing me really i'm grateful um it is so therapeutic to paint so well that might take a while but like i say when i get my new supplier once i've ex Épuisé, um, that's a French word, exhausted. Once I've exhausted my last of the stock I've got of, of these ones, I will now I'll reshoot the photography um, and, and get new images for the, the what do you call it? Um, running. You did say you've been running, haven't you? Have you lost weight, Jason, from running then? Is it because I don't think you used to run before because it's really, um, running makes you super trim doesn't it because you don't want to eat when you get in from running you don't tend to want to eat, overeat before you go out running and that runner high makes you really i used to be ever so thin when i went right when i did running um the um bit of a personal question that but you know me well enough to not be offended jason by that question but um no i just um some people have been using the lockdown as a time to get really really fit um have i asked jason how you are i'm ever so sorry and claire are you both well? Um, but definitely for wellness, I can't stress enough, especially mums, people who live on their own, it's so important to have a bit of you time on a daily basis, whether it's three seconds, 30 seconds or 30 minutes. They say if you can get 3.33, no, 33.30 a day, that is brilliant. So 30 seconds might be being mindful, having a, a sip of coffee and just looking around you and smelling the air and looking at all the things that you love. Or it could be um, for three minutes, it could be just grabbing a cup of coffee and sitting outside or just having a little walk um, or just breathing in some essential oils or I don't think you're supposed to just breathe them in, are you? I didn't, mean, didn't quite mean that, but I just meant something you know will make you feel better. And then the 30, I suppose that could be something like having a walk, having a bath. But if you can try and get 3 30, 30, 30 in every day, you'll be amazing. But if you're not even doing that once a month, that's when you you, you know you probably need to look at how you're feeling and if you if you feel like you're feeling stressed and panicking or there's all sorts of ways when I what I've learned through wellness is there are there's signs you know when you, you feel like you need a bit more at TLC but you keep pushing on regardless um Jason I've been on two bike rides since I last seen you Woo um and um I've yeah but that's only because Mark suggested to go I didn't get up and do it myself so yeah um so that was sweet of him is that Victoria saying it was sweet of my partner to paint the cupboards. I guess it was like mega, mega because 
it's his parents, his late parents' old house, and he wants to keep as much as he can close to their memory. So it's understandable that he doesn't want to, you know, change everything. So it is nice that he has done that. So we've got, we haven't got the whole lot of cupboards painted. We've just got the bottom, the, the panels, not the trims, but we've got a, a dresser that's the same color scheme now as what we've just done. And so therefore, in theory, it should work. So he's good at hoovering and hoovering up, but cleaning up, says Claire. Cleaning up the signs and fiddly bits is your job. Okay, let me read that again with punctuation. He is good at hoovering up, but cleaning up the sides and fiddly bits is my job. Lol. Um, I remember you talking about point notes a long while ago when we attended a play group. Leavers party. Playgroup leavers. Well, we haven't left playgroup yet. Um, my brain. My brain is completely gone. It really has. Um, so I think because my my names. I remember seeing a lady at a party, and we were trying to work out where we knew each other from. Um, but that, I don't think your name's Claire. Why can't I pick to you, Claire? Uh, I feel really bad now. I feel really bad. I'm going to have to, um, because your picture isn't there. Three. Because we had, if it, if it is you, um, then we had, um, we spent the last, like, week before lockdown. For me anyway i had a few weeks off before lockdown to just lock down on my own um then i saw you um and that you see there's a few pay groups i went to but i'm sure no claire 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 let me look at my facebook now let me look at my facebook because the other claire i'm thinking of was not was not was i feel terrible because i think i've just been in this bubble for so long um any normal person from the real world, I wouldn't expect on here. So it's you, yes, because I was just thinking, then I thought, surely your name isn't worse, but it's because your middle name is on your Facebook. Yes, right, now I'm with you, bless you. Oh, bless you. I didn't, yeah, because I didn't expect to see you on my channel and I'm hardly on Facebook. I remember now, yes, I won't say the town because people will then know who you are and obviously you want to say, um, when you were talking about kiddies with Stay Anonymous, but yes, you are from Peterborough. Um, I'm such a wally, but I know you won't be mad at me. You'll be like, no, that's fine. Because um, I'm just looking at the girls' pictures now. And that's really lovely. And obviously I'm happier now that I've realised who you are. Oh, you've read it. Yep. <laughs> oh, bless you. Yes, because the last... Well, I did see recently, but the, the point notes. We were talking about bullet journals then, weren't we? We went to um, Big Sky. So the um, point notes, I can't remember... Fully, but I was trying to do my journals, and I knew giving me loads of um information about cooking and stuff. And then I um we didn't connect until I saw you last for some reason on Facebook, or it didn't work, or I didn't end up looking at it because I I I don't see much of Facebook anymore. I was just realising the other day I hardly see any of my um hardly seeing any of my um, group stuff, my craft stuff on my Facebook anymore. So I think the algorithm has changed. Um, yeah, so how are you doing? Bless you. It's nice to now put a face to the story. <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm, I'm happy now to have two humans that I know in the real world in Facebook, in YouTube. So, because it's such a. I'm seeing similar faces popping up in the YouTube world in different channels that I'm already friends with. And it's like, it's a small world out there. People have been interviewed by people I know already, and I didn't. It's, it's really great. Um, so, ah, Victoria, no, you won't, um, I waffle so much and I don't know what I would talk about, Victoria, and I'm so, I don't know, but that's funny. So, you would love to interview me on your show, wow, I'm so grateful that you would love to do that, but that is, that is, I'm embarrassed now, but hot and bothered. Um, it's one of those scary things, the thought of you guesting on someone else's show, but, um, when, wait, do, oh, Yes, because Friday, 
yours was taken over your show was taken over by the boys because something happened that was an emergency wasn't it that took you away so i haven't asked you is everything okay with that um and there was a moment when larry or um larry larry, larry and callie picker were there and they wanted to so i watched this show guys i watched adventures and reselling i watched her her, um, her reseller show where all the guys chatter and some lovely people in there it's just really nice to be in that reseller zone at some point i um went on there um when victoria wasn't there so they were thinner on the ground so the main host victoria wasn't present and i you know um callie picker said oh if anybody wants to jump on here's the link blah 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 and i was like oh but i had annabelle here i didn't have any makeup on and it was i didn't think it would work anyway even if i came on to say hello I kind of thought, hmm, the American sense of humour versus mine, would I contribute anything? So it'd be really cute. But if it was an interview part, because there's an interview show that Victoria does, then I guess it would be, oh, you're still watching, great. <laughs> um, so the interview part would be, I guess, structured. Do you send questions beforehand or does it just roll? Is it just as it is? Um, I would be up for it. I think I do need to push myself and do my first live interview. I always love to take opportunities like that and say thank you very much. I would love to. Um, it's just my confidence side of, okay, am I going to be good enough for the show to not let down the person who's put their time and effort into me? Um, and um, is it the right time to do it? For example, because yours is a reseller show. Um, but I'm very new to that. I've been selling my old stuff online. Annabelle's old toys, old clothes, old anything, so I can sell, and I know a lot about it, but I'm not an expert eBayer at reselling, so, but I have sourced so much over the years, there must be some angle, who knows, let me read the comments, um, oh, I can't believe Claire's here, that's so nice, so nice, it's because I haven't seen your surname pop up on Facebook to have it, because I knew it was Claire. Victoria says, I have fun questions I ask on my show. Well, there you go. Then if it's just improvising, <laughs> then, um, or just asking me random stuff, um, then I guess there's maybe going to be something from there. Who knows? Who knows? Um, yeah, that's quite funny because I haven't seen your interviews, but I knew that I know that, see, Chris, no, not Chris, Jimmy from Quick Fix, 22 who's now gizmo sales ebay he has a lady who comments on her on his videos and i watch his videos and i see her commenting all the time and um, she's a super fan of his just well or just lovely she just comments on his videos and he really loves it she was interviewed by you and i've got to watch it it's on my watch list so i would it would be great to see that so i know you do interviews i haven't seen it oh emergency let's fix your channel shall we do you want to watch it or do you want to watch something on the iPad? What, do, what do we think? Do you want to watch Barney or do you want to watch Pepper? Should we watch Pepper in French? Pepper? Yeah? Right. Sorry guys, sorry for the um, intrusion. Pepper cochon français is what you type if you want to watch French Pepper Pig. And they've got an official channel. There we go. And she has not watched Peppa Pig on here for about six weeks. So it's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then what does which say next? Send me an email. I'll, um, do you want to retract that or is it okay to keep that on there? I don't know. Ooh, I've got myself a live interview. <gasps> oh, wow. I'm so, I'm so, pl oh, that's nice. Nothing venture, nothing gained. I'm, I'm pleased I've come on the live today. Um, I hope you guys are well though. I hope you guys are all right. Um, uh, Claire, so I'm, I'm running around left, right and centre asking, answering questions, remembering conversations. Um, okay, cool. That's fine. I did think about email addresses on YouTube channels. People have a specific one just for YouTube ventures. So, um, cool. Okay. Uh, the other pointer that Claire mentioned. Claire, I was going to ask you. Claire and Jason, my local friends, have you been to the shops? And which ones have you been to and what were they like? Anybody can answer that question, actually, to be fair. Um, 
and what are you guys doing for work now are you are you back at work um are you using Claire are you using nursery at the moment or not um are the kids at school are your kids at school have you not sent them back don't know if you've got a year war Katie is she uh, I won't talk about ages on YouTube just to keep it more anonymous um yeah so what I'm not going back to kids which a bit we've told the nursery sorry for now we're staying but I just said because you know they said do you need do you need us to schedule you in and I just said I, I have no reason to put her in at the moment I'm just gonna have to muddle on on my own I don't feel like it's appropriate to send her if I don't need to I don't I don't need to take that risk of sending her back to nursery but the nursery have done a really good job of making sure that everything is um that everything is as clean as can be and they've got more measures in place you know going up the stairs they can only have one family going up the stairs at a time and I'm pleased that they're thinking of all this stuff because that's sort of stuff that would make me feel really anxious before um, so yeah um so that's that but um I went past thought I'd make a Peterborough I've got a Facebook group um Jason did some <laughs> she doesn't want the paint no that's fine darling no you don't want baby wipes either I did just chuck them there quickly didn't I while I was doing something else for you okay she knows her own mind oh bless her I want a new biscuit. She wants a biscuit. Look at me, I've put weight on because I keep eating biscuits. I don't buy them from the supermarket. And then Mark comes back with Haribo, pencils, and they're just for me. <laughs> Bless you. So, it's so funny. But I did drive by, I drove by Smith's in Boongate, and oh, it freaked me out. I was just like, it's almost like, vultures for the picking everyone was just stood there this isn't a derogatory term i just felt like it was very apocalyptic the whole car park at the front was reserved for the um not balustrade what's it called the the bits where people queue back and forth the i suppose i'd know if i was waiting in the queues for shops wow how full i would normally be on a zoom call but we've stopped doing the family one now because everyone's gone back to work It'll be another one on. Stop because you press the button. <laughs> um, so, oh, I think I missed a comment from Jason actually. Mm. No, stop. Oh, on about a walk. I've missed some more actually. Sorry, Claire said very well. Took off for a walk with my youngest earlier, just what we needed. I felt like I needed to do the same with, with Little Lamb, but as I said, I hadn't jumped in the shower by then to look presentable, so we couldn't just get out. It was like, right, get in, get get some food made and eaten. No, you've had three. You've had three. What? Dinner time we've got five. So you have a biscuit but no peanut butter jelly. Honestly, I have heard that it is quite common. Make sure I don't put the paintbrush in the peanut butter. Um sorting through photographs. So I'm gonna try and go for a walk tomorrow because I think if I do some work and then have a treat and I'll have a walk for a treat to be good. Go ahead and do photos. Oh digital ones or printed photos? Um I can't do printed ones anymore but I did print out a load to turn into like a little photo album with some pretty papers like a nice collage kind of thing if you use card making techniques and so on you can make some really cute photo albums that are keepsakes and somewhat cheaper than the photo box or whatever they're called um free prints ones so that's nice it's lovely though looking at our pictures Jason's lost half a stone wow that's brilliant. Thank you. I'm sorry I didn't get to say bye, but I'll chat to you later. I'll give you a little ping to say thank you for watching. Um, a little message. Uh, so going out now. And how long ago was that? That was 15 minutes ago. So yeah, I missed that one. I read it wrong. The wrong timing. Um, good luck with the interviews. Yay! Keep doing what you love. That is definitely keep doing what you love. Is definitely um something that I do 
really, really agree with because when you do stuff you love, you're going to be good at it. It's going to see you through the bad times. And from my business days, my business coaching advice to you would be, from having my own business, is follow your passion. If you ever get stuff you don't know what to do, smell what sells, but in the area that you are passionate about because when things get tough, You'll give up if you don't love, love, love it. And business does get tough. It's, that's why people like to do it. Entrepreneur, entrepreneur means an undertaker, someone who undertakes projects, someone who takes things on. Um, you can split that meaning into as many different uh, variants as you wish. But um, entrepreneur, voilà. I did say uh, in previous lives that I would do some French each time. So... Joie de vivre is literally joy of the joy of living, loving life, and so on. I don't know why that word just came to me, but um, maintenant je peins une boîte en bois. Now I'm painting a box in wood, a wooden box. That's something. Maintenant, that isn't how I would teach normally, guys. I wouldn't just teach you a word and drop you with it, but une boîte. Let's just go for that. Une boîte. Une boîte rose, a pink box. Une boîte rose pour un petit bébé. Uh, yeah. So this is. I'm glad I decided to do this on a live, so I could <laughs> talk to you guys while I'm painting. Uh, let's see what else I've missed. Mm, I do miss that play group, Claire. Um, I do miss the kiddies running round after each other. Um, <laughs> oh, Sherilyn, hey! Pardon? Uh, Claire, Sherilyn, um, who's just popped on, uh, Yellow Sun. Ah, Sherilyn has four oh, bambinis. Um, she has four kiddies. Um, I only realised actually that two of them are twins today because I watched one of her videos today with them um, twins in. And did you see my eyebrow? Got... Yeah, crazy. Um, connect with each other, guys. Um, and you'll see lots of different things. Um, Sherilyn's husband is from England, I think from Birmingham. Uh, and he's funny, 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 funny. Um, and Sherilyn is looking for views for watch hours at the moment. So she would absolutely love you forever if you watched a few of her live videos. Um, when you get a minute, just, just tune in. Um, that would really help her out. And... Um, I'm sure Sherilyn would add a connection to yours too if you're building your channels. Um, yeah, so this box, Sherilyn, is what I'm painting for a friend of mine, but this is part of my craft business, uh, Natasha's Creations, which I set up on Facebook. So if you have a look, um, you'll see, you can see this brand on Facebook. There's a pinky, the logo is pinky. That's what I can tell you. Um, no, it's this one. It's this picture there. If you type Natasha's creations, you can see some of the stuff I've made. Oh, here we go. You can see some of the stuff I've made before on there. That's I did all the branding myself and all the logos and the colours and the yeah. So it's 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 nice to use my business knowledge with a new business but I'm just taking it very, very steady. I need more room on this table, guys, because I'm really struggling. Sherilyn, how are you doing? It's late there now, isn't it? Um, I also miss it. It was the best playgroup ever. I mean, I did go to the thorny one, but I do... I don't want a space for all this stuff, but it's all fine. But I do think that... Play group is a lot to do. I know you dropped down because of how things were and you were doing something, you were working as well, and it was, I think was she a childminder in the end. Um, but the, the point I'm trying to make is that it can really bulk up your week if you're running around a play group every week and you do others and you do things for yourselves, you go out for a day out somewhere. It's a massive chunk of time in your week. Um, and I found it cathartic to not go to any 
and to not go and see family, to not go on days out and trips out. So that is the one thing I've benefited from, even though I am at the moment a stay-at-home mum. I've stopped doing the, the children's teaching that I was doing with one client a week. Um, so your husband's a key worker. Oh, bless him. It's hard. It's hard. You haven't been out shopping. I haven't been. Um, Mark's been doing the shopping. And we did manage to have some deliveries because we had an online subscription. Because me running around with a toddler, trying to get the shopping done and trying to get home, trying to get her to sleep, didn't quite work with my schedule before. It was just a lot of running around, not playing to my strength. So I did have deliveries. Then they went wrong because the subscription finished or Asda didn't renew it for me. No, darling. Well, look, I don't, I think another oat biscuit is enough, okay? And then we'll get you some dinner, okay? Kids are just, I've just heard that kids are always asking for food lately because because of the lockdown. They're just stuck indoors and they're bored and they just um want food all the time. So, Claire, um, you've got the children with you. That's a big thing, isn't it? It's a big thing to do. Um having them all the time and, and when you can't just go out and do stuff it makes it so much harder to be at home and not feel frustrated with things um so i i, I just think if, if if my little one was at school it would be really tricky um ah oh, it's hubby hey nice to see you i um, don't know if sherilyn told you um i'm talking to yellow sun's husband so sherilyn's um husband uh you're from birmingham i'm in peterborough um where you guys are in are you guys in the philippines she did tell me whereabouts but i can't remember but i know your schedule is eight hours roughly from here so seven four five six seven eight nine ten eleven but midnight midnight or have i got that wrong we are in British summertime, which changes things as well, doesn't it? Um, it's nice to meet you because I saw you you hopped on to one of Sherilyn's live streams. Um, I wasn't watching it live; I was watching it back. Um, and and it was just you were so taking the mick. You were so taking the mickey um, out of Sherilyn. It was so funny. You just completely jumped on it while she was doing something. You stood there in front of the camera. Um, it was at least a few weeks ago maybe more because of the the view um when i was viewing it it was retrospective so um yeah so you are seven hours away so i did it really fast on my fingers so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven thirty eight quite late um so one thing i remember over there is I haven't been, but I've had stuff work for me from the Philippines. Is that they have loads of, they had loads of karaoke bars, and obviously they're not open now, are they? So are people doing karaoke online now, or are they just not doing it? And I think the lockdown hasn't been lifted over there, has it? Um, but um, that's that's yeah, I haven't heard over the last week what's happened but I, I think in the philippines it's a stricter lockdown than over here but no one's complaining i don't know if they're not allowed to say anything or not but i haven't heard any grumbling from you guys over there um so birmingham was only an hour and a half from an hour and a half i've driven there quite a few times um when were you last over there i mean do you go back do you go back least do you go back quite a lot um I've, I've been to the mailbox quite a few times and absolutely loved it for an evening dinner and drinks it's such a really great fun night um i've watched a few shows at the nec and ia and that kind of thing it's not an hour and a half is it it's perhaps just under two hours maybe depends how fast you drive isn't it um but it's been a really warm christmas christmas been a really warm um lockdown in britain we've had the best may ever i'm sure you already know that i'm sure you can keep in touch with people in the uk anyway um, but i just wanted to do a live chill out line and annabelle's letting me do it at the moment may even treat you guys to a little uh kitchen time <laughs> if i can carry the laptop down um downstairs to carry on 
the live just carry on the chilled out vibe not that i expect you guys to all stay and hang out but just because it's my little happy place in youtube so what have you guys planned for this evening or in Sherilyn and I'm very sorry I don't know Sherilyn's husband's name I don't think she told me um, what is your name uh, she said uh, sorry um, if you guys are getting up if you guys are going to bed wake up in the morning what have you guys planned tomorrow and um what time of the day are your kids waking you up in the morning because Annabelle was six o'clock or ten to um no complaints or do dirty kills you is that the name of a um president or somebody like a leader and are you being serious or not because i know you've got a sense of humor um so in your you're, you're responding to the comment about coronavirus if you complain about it um you know i know some countries are pretty strict in western in eastern lands on you know rebelling against the the leaders although i don't get into politics and i don't get into um i don't watch a lot of news i've watched the most news in may in march than i ever have done in the last year probably um but um Duterte. Um I love watching Filipino videos though because I love the views of the, the landscape. It's just nice to see somewhere that's so rich in beauty and nature. I always enjoy because I've as I said I've had a team of stuff I, I, I did a training program I needed help with my business and I ran a training program um and I hired a group of guys trained them some came and some went some stayed for a long time um and it was it was just nice to know about their lives nice to know where they live how things go how they you know the work ethic is fantastic they're lovely loyal people not everyone was loyal you know you're going to have a few bad ones that don't you know the cheat system that try and cut corners there's always a ratio for movement in, in in things like that um but we do have um uh i zoned out for a minute then sorry guys um we do have i do i, I do always recommend um if you hire staff if you hire assistants people to support you my television television your television's in your room darling i can't bring it in here do you want it working again do you want to go into your bedroom do you want to go into your bedroom yeah Okay, I'm just going to go put Annabelle, Annabelle, Annabelle's telly on. Thanks for coming, guys. And it's so lovely to still see you here. Um, I think um, Castle Hives has just joined. I'm just going to quickly go next door. Stay there. I'm going to go and put Annabelle's telly on. But you know how to do it. You know how to do it. Um, so let me just read the comments before I go. And Victoria's going. You need to get some. go and get some orders filled. Um, yeah, I must take that action and email you or I won't be appearing on your show but so excited thank you so much and lovely lovely to see you on my live stream i'm very grateful to see you thank you so much bye victoria and mike hello brian why did i call you mike brian sorry this is annabelle she's back um jane does i'm around to hey i haven't seen you for a few weeks but i i saw you weeks and weeks ago and i need to come and see your channel again because i haven't seen anything pop up in my notifications so i need to double check what's happened there um guys the connection feel free to network with each other um i'm going to quickly put tell off my little girl she wants to watch she's been playing and learning and doing lots of things today but now it's time for her to have a little bit of telly time um i'm gonna go and put her telly on for two seconds so feel free don't drop your links but just go to see each other's channels um if you want to find new channels to support etc and um it's nice to join up
Uh, Brian, I hope you're still here. I was going to say thanks for joining me and just give a recap of what I've been doing. I just haven't found a lot of time for YouTubing and I don't know if you saw in the um, I posted the other day, um, Brian, about the um, the group that um, it's been really hard trying to catch up and then when I found that it was actually a bit of a um, <laughs> bit of a flop, um, kind of thought, oh, that work and then nothing. But I'm kind of going back and finding those that are um, good and just carrying on in that realm. So it's a bit of a cryptic message for the rest of you guys, but never mind, don't worry. Um, but um, yeah, I, I'm going to get more viewing done. I'm going to be watching, get back into my, my YouTube life, my YouTube binge watching um, over the next few days. But today was like a mum's work, mum's day, housewife day, cooking. Last night I was cleaning. Today's been cooking, washing, just surviving really. Now this afternoon I'm doing my um, painting a box for a client because it needs to be painted few coats and then a top coat of varnish before I do any more. Um, tell me in the comments, how did you find this video or my channel in the first place? Did you search for a certain term? Are you already known to me? Did someone introduce you? Just like to know for analytical, analytical purposes. Danny, what's wrong? Then I'll read your comments. Um, so, J Design. Thank you. Now you've confused me. Um, James Black. Here is yourself now. Oh, Yellow Sun, is that you then? Is yourself? Because James Black is an English sounding name. Um, <laughs> bless you, thank you. Oh, yes. Oh. Annabelle's found one of my See, this, this channel isn't about reselling as such, but I've found it's something that's going to be hugely part of my content. Um, I found a little box of stuff the other day, abandoned in the street, where people no, drop stuff off. And Annabelle's that. just, she just grabbed it now. She wants to play with it. So I'm just like, okay, um, I guess you're going to have to have it now because it's not, I haven't got the storage space for stuff to buy and sell. But I haven't bought those. I've, st I've acquired them for free and... and um, I would like to sell them, but they're little bits that they're little tidbits that go with things like a little character. So I I always go through with car boot sales and charity shops. I always go through the little um, junk boxes, ten p boxes, to just see if I can find um, little people, the hammers and the um, the little bits the phones that you find on the VTech toys that people try and sell without the phone and if you find one cheap you can sell it with the phone kind of thing um <clears throat> may kids they wake at eight o'clock in the morning eight o'clock is amazing i would kill for an eight o'clock morning um wake up with my daughter she, it's now seven o'clock in the morning but eight o'clock is a dream my partner never He's given me two or three lions in the last two and a quarter years of my daughter. So um, I'm always getting up early. So I've started to be like, well, do you know what? I'm going to go to bed early then and cut into our time. Um, if I need to catch up on sleep, that's how I'm going to have to do it, by having an early night, um, basically. So, and your daughter at 12 o'clock noon. Oh, bless. Um, she's like. James is me. So, what was your other alias, James? Or are you, are you James? Are you are you are you Sherilyn's partner, James? That's what I'm trying to work out. Who were you before in this chat? Um, James, I'm Randa. Twelve a.m. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. Thank you for coming to see me. I do appreciate it. Oh, I've forgotten. Not like me. Normally, I would tell people or ask people by now. Don't forget the thumbs up button. But if you haven't popped a little thumbs up on your way out, please do so, and feel free to put a comment for the non-live viewers to to jump on. Um, you can introduce your channel if you want, but it's up to you. Be careful. You don't want to sound like you're pushing for views, but if you do want to um, use this video to comment on and just sort of say what you do, it'll be okay because I've mentioned it in my video that to pop down i might even put a pinned comment maybe that'd be a good idea for you guys to see what your channel is about so jd's gonna go 
So, like, fair enough. Okay, so you went on your own account to come and view. So I really appreciate that. Thank you. Give me extra views. Yay. Um, thank you. James, cool. Right, nice to meet you fish officially, James. Uh, Sherilyn's husband. Sherilyn Black. Oh, God. Sherilyn Black. Duh. Penny's dropped. The penny's dropped. She gets it. She gets it. See what I mean? I'm in stuck indoors. Uh, but I'm actually, I've had this fuzzy brain for since my daughter was born and it's not baby brain it's stress brain when you just can't think you call pink black and you call red yellow and you call the window the door i mean apparently it's quite normal <laughs> but i give myself a beat up about it beat myself up about it um, looks a bee box uh, yeah um it does look like you're well, I can only see from the outside because I haven't seen you build a brand new hive from scratch. But I did notice actually, Brian, um, that you're, you you must have actually built the whole frame platform that the hives stand up on top of as well from your videos because I sort of saw a zoomed out view this time. Um, so is that your carpentry that's done the frame and stuff as well? Um, you can send me some to paint. Yeah, I'll paint them for you. <laughs> it's... It's interesting, isn't it, how we see things in a certain way, but they can be used in other ways. Um, but if you knew behind, you could put, you could, I could get some sort of lid to put on top for kids to do a little, I could do a beehive design, couldn't I, for kids' book boxes. Yeah, Mike, um, Mike, God, what am I doing? Brian, <laughs> I could make a design of boxes kids because this is this is a kid's um uh duh, thanks james <laughs> um i could um james um brian did build stand clever good i wish i could do all that sort of stuff um probably need to start with getting a saw really and a, a vice and some wood um but i'd make a mess probably anyway so let me take the banners off for now as well um Kids sometimes get too much, get stressed. Four kids, though, that's likely to happen, isn't it? Four. Woo but I can see um, if, you, if you had twins, you know, you got an extra, an extra bundle um, than you bargained for. Uh, so that's, that's pushing the numbers up, isn't it? Four is a lot. I, I, one, one is enough for me. It's tough. It's tough with just one. So well done if you guys are able to manage more than one. My life is just how it is. It's just... It's wonderful with Annabelle in it to not be worried or sad. I've come to terms with the idea of not having another one. I just don't feel like I'm ready to go back to the place where I was when I had Annabelle and I was constantly worried. I, I loved her. I was happy. I was in love. But I, was, I wasn't depressed in the way that I was sad looking at her and stuff like that. It was just a drain, a, a constant worry. Or well, not constant worry, but when she was asleep, I'd constantly be worrying about is she breathing, um, worrying more than most would, and panicking is she going to be able to get to sleep? And oh my gosh, if we go for a day out and I haven't planned everything, if it's an impromptu, have I got everything? Have I got you know? And and just just naturally, my brain was like chill, chill, but I couldn't, couldn't calm down. And this is just how when you're not well, and you're not well, and life is just tricky and. I, I just don't feel like I can go back to that time where, you know, I enjoyed being a mum, but just think how more amazing it would have been having that those feelings, being so madly in love with my daughter, being so grateful and feeling like it's amazing being a mum. But imagine how that would have been without the feelings of anxiety, without the depression, the low, the low mood and the, the feeling exhausted and like life is a big old strain and all the other thoughts that go with low mood and anxiety and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, and your husband, is that is that are you referring to um, husband stressed you out too? We're not married yet. <laughs> Maybe we'll stay that way. <laughs> no, we, we, it's, it's hard having kids um, and a husband, a partner, you know. Um, you're all trying to do different things or trying to do the same thing, but you have to coexist. You have to tolerate each other. Um, it's been a big old change for me, but that's probably for another video. Um, 
But <clears throat> yes, as I was saying, um, Brian, this box is going to be a baby hamper box that I just buy the boxes in. There isn't enough profit in them at this stage, not how I'm doing them. Um, the places I'm selling them to get a big, um, to get enough money per item to warrant making them myself. It's a lot of time painting anyway. So, and to ship this size box safely, I would need a really big box and an expensive courier fee. Um, so I found it's actually um, better to buy a box, buy the box in. I'm going to get flat boxes at some point that I can, that I can post to them and they can just use a few, screw, few screws and a screwdriver to pop it together. Um, it's going to be for a new baby, new baby girl. Um, it's going to have the name of the baby on it, um, maybe the date of birth and some cute bunny um, thingies. Bunny it could be an outline. I haven't worked that out yet. Um, going to do a nice sort of scripted font and it's going to be a keepsake gift box and my friend has already bought some things she wants to go in it and I'm going to possibly design her some extra packaging to make those things look more baby tailored and more cute um you know more personalized and I shall be um Sorry, I'm just checking out Annabelle on the monitor there. So she's in her room um, watching telly, bless her. I will also, because I, I have been sourcing items for a long time to sell. I suppose actually I've been a reseller in principle for a long time, but I haven't resold as such. So I've been sourcing items to resell in my hampers um, and to I've been sourcing brand new items to repackage as to gifts you know like facial sponges baby um lots I can't, <laughs> I can't really tell you right now but I have done it in previous lives but um I basically consult the person and make a very bespoke um a very bespoke um yeah I know you guys are married Sherilyn and James um but I ask people what they want give them ideas and then generally they end up with something way better because we've talked about it, we've discussed it, we've put lots of ideas together. Um, yeah, there we go. Um, guys, if you want something funny to look at, um, go and see um, Sherilyn's live streams and sort of in the middle of them, sort of halfway down, there's some with um, James in them. Uh, so Sherilyn Black, look, at, look up Sherilyn Black. Maybe you'll find her better on my subscriptions list. Um, and um, you, you, James did this bit where he, he calls, um, he has these names for things as he's a, um, a YouTube widow, as you call it, you know, um, his wife is always on YouTube. So he has the life living, he's living with a YouTuber. So he has phrases like um, YouTube chicken is the dish you get when you have been um waiting for dinner and your partner's been on youtube and not focusing on dinner and if you if your chicken gets burnt you get you get black chicken youtube black chicken and that kind of thing so um that amused me um so it's good to see different lives different families different humor um channels with partners on are more interesting sometimes because you can see the interaction and compare it to your life at home um although it's generally a Sherilyn, generally Sherilyn's channel. Um, you don't, you guys did a different title. How did your title go down today for your this morning's? Well, in the UK time for this morning's live streams this afternoon. Um, you did it. How how did it go? Um, because it was quite a funny title for a Philippine audience. Um basically but it was funny I haven't watched it yet because I was doing something else but I will I watched it back I'll watch it back later and we've got Lydia in the house Lydia oh Lydia's the loveliest youngster I know on YouTube she is so sweet hi Lydia lovely to see you um go check out her channel guys because she's doing some real kind of um reviews and tutorials now of showing things she did this lovely face mask tutorial um dip chocolate tutorial and things like that some really cool stuff 
um so oh was that the one yeah <laughs> okay um yeah so J james has just put the, the 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 title of the live stream to find in Sherilyn black's channel um so lydia how are you doing what time is it where you are i've forgotten whereabouts you are you're because because you've got spanish hispanic roots and i noticed you did say dinero the other day i wasn't sure if if you spoke spanish because of your um are you are you um have you got spanish speaking family do you is it just where you live or is it just the name castro uh lidia castro that that has a spanish sound to it this part of your heritage or 11 11 11 11 01 that's good um so yeah i know it's lovely to see all one of my lives I think it's because my daughter wakes up before now in a bit of a grump, um, but she's she woke up happily. Here she is. Annabelle, look, Lydia's here. You can't see her, see her, but there's, there's Lydia's picture. They watch her videos, don't they? Yeah? Oh, and I've got some catching up to do. Um, Annabelle's found my little bag of people that I'm going to store until I find things that they can go with. So I was talking about this one. So if you see these little people in the charity shops or things, it's worth looking at those little 10p boxes because a Fisher Price toy that has a zoo and no zookeeper, this would add a lot of value to it. Um, so, um, yep, so Brian and Lydia, you know each other. We had, who did we have in earlier? No, no, I think you guys were the only ones. Um, Amber and Jesse, they are my frequent, and Mike, you do tend to catch most of my lives at, why do I say Mike? I don't normally call you Mike, do I, Brian? Um, Brian usually catches one before going off to work. Are you working today, Brian? Um, oh, hi, yeah. So 12, an hour's difference. Hmm. Um, Hispanic, that's the word. That's the word I was trying to, I was trying to say. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of America... Sanchez, is it America Sanchez? Um, America something. She's um, in that. I don't know where she actually lives. When when I watched Ugly Betty, she lived. There was a lot of Hispanic talk and lingo, and they would say a lot of Spanish in their show, and every. And I, but I think they lived in. Oh no, they lived in New York, didn't they, for the magazine or something? I don't know, but I don't remember um that was a lot of waffle don't listen to what i was just saying it sounds a bit silly um you change your time oh i see you started to do lives pardon want a cheese biscuit you just want biscuits don't you I think I might need to go and get you something a bit more sensible. Hmm? Um, so, so Yellow Sun is Cheryl in black. She decided to do lives in the afternoon until the evening now. So, I see. Um, bit of networking there. Go see each other's channels. Some of you know each other anyway. That was just you then. Okay. Okay, cool. You're working 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. Arizona. Yeah, my job is not good enough to know, but I know you work away quite a lot. So are you having to, because you can't stay overnight in places, are you having to just do the job in a day? Or have you hired an RV? Or I suppose you can't hire an RV, or what we call a caravan or camper van, because you, um, in theory, that would mean more travelling. I don't... I, I, Mind you, it's all different in the States with lockdown anyway, isn't it? So you can travel. So you, you, you're working later today because you've had to travel to your client. And that I'm means... very... Mommy, oh. I need to eat a bit. <laughs> she loves me to bit some milk. Right then, I'm going to see what we can find you, Okay. Lunch was a fail because she didn't want to eat it. And it was like, it was hard to judge exactly how much. I just need to trim the edges off any of this paintwork. 
so I'm not going to have to worry about sanding it later because this has been the worst paint job I've ever done but it won't ruin the product because I'll be able to make it I'll be able to adjust the layers as I paint the second and third coat but I'll also sand down any uh, bumpy bits if I've missed any edges but normally these things are so smooth you'll be you'll be hearing Barry Manilow um not Barry Manilow Barry blonde moment Barry White you'll be hearing Barry White tunes in your head that's a really bad joke there guys I don't know what got into me to say that but <laughs> having a good afternoon now thank you so much for joining me guys it's been really nice my box sorry to leave that comment on there um, oh you're not having to travel just yet so you can we ask what you do are you able to share what you do i know a lot of youtubers are very private in their general life that's why they're not vloggers they're sharing their subject matter um brian you um i mentioned earlier about trolls because i offered if there are resellers watching my video channel watching my video today that i would do a live at some point like a little reseller show but not a show interviewing different people and one of the girls came on adventures in reselling victoria she came on she does a lovely show um and she said to me i'd love to interview you and i was like ah um but that's not the point but anyway she said to me so that's something i've gained from our um group and stuff no 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 don't put minnie's bum on there oh it's not minnie it's a little cat is that a gummy bear that was in my little set of freebies so i disinfected it all um if you guys can tell me who that is is it one of the gummy bears if i can get it the right way on the screen um, yeah um, so you're live oh my god so what I'm leading up to is when I was talking about offering um a slot to interview a reseller on my on my YouTube channel to to get them into another another audience for example I said I'd have to vet you of course make sure you're not trolls but you know I'm sure you guys aren't because you've been part of my channel for a while and then I said because somebody I knew had a troll pop up and I went and got Annabelle and I forgot about it but you um, your tro it was like a live troll wasn't it that dude that just basically he just kind of hijacked didn't he He just kind of brought his gang of people and said right let's jump on someone's live stream and try and create havoc but not he was so polite and you dealt with it i didn't put in the comments actually i should have done you dealt with it so well for those watching this live now this chap um wanted to come on and guest speak on on um castle hives live stream and um you know castle hives was like well i don't know who you are i don't you know you gave him the chance and you were so lovely because he was quite persuasive and he, he was well behaved and he sort of said you know why well, I, I have a lot of people you know they like to see and, and your face though it was a picture because you were you were in shock you couldn't believe what was going on and, and it was you would like you said you just hovered your button over the block but you had your mouse over the block key which is right the block button fairly so um let's go and get annabelle some food let's go you can have a view of my roof while we go down um <laughs> you want to stay there and watch telly while i make you some food <laughs> look at all this mess she says Chucked all the toys on the floor. Okay, well that's that's what you do, isn't it? And then you tidy them up, don't you? Yeah. Let's go and make Annabelle some dinner. Um. So my yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jam yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh. Oh, to get the stream. Oh, so that could have been really bad for you then. Not you know. I'm not joking aside. Annabelle, are you coming down? Yeah. Right. Let me just focus on Annabelle then. Yeah, yeah. That was my mummy voice. Ooh. That means I'm not going to talk to you guys for 30 seconds it takes to walk and I'll safely downstairs. Ah. Ah. I'm going to focus 100% on you, darling, so you don't fall downstairs or anything. Nine. I'm not always the best at multitasking. Oh, I've got some banana bread to eat. If it came out okay, you can check, you guys can live check my banana bread. Um, 
but no it wasn't i wasn't laughing at your face i was just you know it's not a laughing matter when someone comes into your channel but it happens and it's going to happen i had a troll on my channel saying oh are you a hoarder da, da, da. it's gone cold now um so the jam yeah you could see after a while he was just there to take the mickey and i thought i thought you know he was quite polite he wasn't I thought the idea was to just troll the channel and just to kind of be a nuisance, really, just to kind of talk rubbish and smoke rubbish <laughs> and just be people to kind of follow him and watch and laugh kind of thing. But um, I to see him um, say that he had a name and stuff and all that intro he started to spout on about, you were right to get rid of him and gone, and luckily nothing came about it after. Um, and, um, but that is insane that people would join a live stream and do things that will get the, get the stream removed that's that is so rubbish i'm so i'm really sad and annoyed that that happened you'd have that experience Mommy, I did a cup of tea. you've made a cup of tea yeah can you go get it for me please can you come in down? well i'm just gonna make you some dinner what would you like what would you like for dinner some bread. Some bread. Some banana bread. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cheese. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, cheese. Yeah. Sorry, guys. This is the mum life. This is the mum life. While I'm going to stay on and get some hot towels, might as well. Um, so Lydia, uh, you love banana bread. Well, my partner did some, and it was great. Um. And I tend, to, I tend not to eat it on my go. Just singing. Banana bread. In a song. Um, well, I'm pleased, Mike, that nothing bad came from it and you dealt with it so, so well. You should be in TV. The way you handled it was just textbook, which is brilliant. Um, and, um, you know, you took it, you took one for the team. We saw what could happen and we're not going to. Um, we won't Mommy. get burnt in future, will we? For seeing I need that. that She's bossy today, this little girl, this little madam. I'm going to do your cheese. Sorry that if that's really rattly. She's got a little. I need to be fair. <laughs> okay, but you had water for ages. Sat next to you, and you didn't touch it, did you? So give me a second. It's okay. Well, I can't do water and banana cake and milk all in one go. <laughs> it's just crazy. Right, a little pepper pig mug. This was for my sister for Easter. Easter really lovely. That's my girl. Excited to drink water. Lovely. Lydia, have you has Lydia have you done any more baking lately? Um. And I haven't seen your system in your videos lately. Have you guys fallen out or are you just um, focusing focusing on your channel a bit more, your own identity? Um, I haven't seen Curse and Macchio for a few days on theirs actually because I'm missing the couple vlogs. Um, I'm very hungry. I definitely need to eat something. I know someone who had someone join and do things like that. They got a mark from YouTube. Oh. Yeah, do they? I suppose when they get a mark from YouTube, Brian, they were told that they had a strike. Um, I don't know. Because I'm a, an established YouTuber on my other channel, MLS Natasha. If you just type MLS Natasha, um, <laughs> you will see my language if I teach French and it's, it's not the best organized channel I just used to shove content on there and, and just it got big um so I'm wondering if if it would affect my channel as much because it had as a, as a brand identity I wouldn't have had any bad activity yes in a minute if I wonder if it would affect me as badly if you've had a you know someone like PewDiePie if that happened to him and he got a strike I suppose he has a direct line to just ring them and say hey can you take this off um it's so evil some people but karma will get to them one day i'm sure karma will you know banana bread so yummy um thumbs up done host thank you thanks for the thumbs up i really appreciate it um 
really is so delicious. <laughs> well, this this recipe, the bananas were frozen, okay, because we had too many bananas ordered. We bought some, and then my family dropped them off, and then my partner bought a load when he went shopping, and we're like, oh, my God, we've got too many bananas. So I froze them. Um, now we've got no bananas that are fresh, and these ones that defrosted started to turn a bit brown as, as they got defrosted. And so I thought, well, does that mean I don't use as much water? And then the recipe said nuts, chopped nuts, and I just had cashews and flaked almonds, and I thought, that doesn't really seem right. So I put ground almonds in, which is a, a powdered... Which is a powdered... Tonight's concert features Annabelle on the drums. Are you having fun, darling? <laughs> Are you my background music? I'm sorry, guys. You wanted a chilled out, chilled out vibe, and I'm afraid it's not. <laughs> um, why would anyone press dislike? James, I have, no, seriously, I have a, I have a thumbs down for almost every live I've done. So I have a silent troll thumbing down on my lives. They don't thumb down my normal videos, just my lives, but I'm past it now. I've done five or six lives now on this channel, so I don't mind. I'm not bothered anymore. It doesn't hurt me, upset me. So, yeah. Lily's going to eat. Tell me what you have. Tell me what you're having. What are you going to have for dinner? Um, <clears throat> and hope you'll be back. That's so sweet. Thank you. Thanks for saying to come back if I'm still here. Um, so, shall we get the banana bread out and see what happens, see what's happening? I've been feeling a bit anxious about being able to get lives done now my partner's back at work. Not that he looked after Annabelle anyway, but I didn't want to disconnect from the, from the world. Like, I haven't been going out as such. I've been to see my, my dad at the park, but I haven't, um, I don't want to disassociate from commute from the community and the online world by not doing any live streams and then falling back into bad habits such as not going <clears throat> live and withdrawing but so I'm really super pleased that I've managed to that's the dinner you didn't want to eat earlier darling so mum's going to put that in the bin now it's cool so da -da -da. Yeah, so I, when I bake, I've not been keeping it all out and eating it within two days. I don't know if it's cooled down that much. It's, it's not cool enough to touch, but the bread maker is. You want to see the bread, Annabelle? I'm going to get the chopping board out. Just shuffle things around on the counter. I've got slow cooked pork chops. It sounds like I'm a queen of cooking. I'm not. I'm not. When I get myself sorted, I have my plan and I plan my recipes. Um, seven in the house. That's almost, is that a new record for me? I don't know. Thank you so much for being here and staying. I really appreciate it. Feel free to suggest, pop any feedback in there for me to improve. Any ideas? Um, while you're here... Rui, from um, a few of you know, she does the fitness videos from Japan. Um, <clears throat> a beautiful apartment. It's a bit dark. So, like I said, I put less liquids in because I had this sort of runny, defrosted. Um, don't want you guys to see my belly. So you're gonna have to. <laughs> I've still got my Easter decorations up. I just don't need to take them down just yet. Oh. That was easy. Oh, it's a bit flat. But it's supposed to be loaf. It's no, um, so I used ground. Well, banana cake. Does it look all right, Annabelle? Yeah. I've got a little hook. Yummy. If I've tied, if my drawer, I tidied this drawer two months ago. If the drawer is organised enough, I can find everything in it. Mm -hmm. What my utensils? Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I can cook decent stuff if I get my meal planning done but life just gets in the way most of the time but I definitely always chop the food up and freeze it down in mini bags in a big ziplock bag so all these slices would go I don't know they're quite big slices I might go for chunks this size actually let's see right here we go here's the cake 
It does smell like banana bread, but the ingredients in it, I was thinking, you can't fail. You want some of the bowl? Yeah. I was thinking you can't really fail because in banana bread, the ingredients, you know, eggs, flour. I put some ground almonds in, as I said. Um, eggs, flour, and... Oh, that's... Yeah, that's okay. And, and you can't really fail with those ingredients, really. So sure, it came out fine, but it was the... It's got baking powder and bicarbonate soda. I've never used them both. But they are the raising agents, and it was cooked on the quick quick mode. So hopefully Mark will see, he'll, he'll appreciate this enough that he'll be able to take some homemade, homemade food to work in his lunchbox. He packs his lunchbox. I don't get involved. Um, Bye. Thanks for coming, Brian. Appreciate you staying so long and chatting. Um, and have a good day. The rest of the day at work. And uh, yeah, I'll see you soon in your next video. Ciao. I'm going to eat some cake. So what are you guys eating today? You guys going for something quick and easy for your next meal? Or something a bit more substantial? Mmm. Yum, yum. A bit dry. Mm. Oh dear. It's okay. You can put butter on it, can't you? Give me Emil's next fix. Ready? <clears throat> We've got defrosted red berries. I'm gonna put some. Normally, I would put some yogurt with it. I'm gonna fake it today and put some cream on there. Just to get her to eat the berries, basically. But she's got a pretty little dress on. I think it's a Ralph Lauren. It's not a brand new one, it's a charity shop one, but Ralph Lauren, well, I wouldn't be able to afford that. So I'm going to get her a bib. When she comes back from her little. I think one of she sat on the sofa. She's happy. <clears throat> She's happy. She's having a tea party. Um, if you want to chat about your channel goals in the chat, but delete it once you've said it in case the spam picked it up or anything. Um, what are you guys planning for your channel? Are you looking to do, are you looking to get another 100 subscribers over the next few months? Are you looking to get more um, views of a certain niche? Are you going wide at the moment and then you're going to get more niche as time goes on? Yeah. Here's me tidying. I can't resist tidying whenever I'm in the kitchen. Tidy, tidy, tidy. Yes. And his home. Pardon? And his home. Well, I don't know how you think that because it's not there. <laughs> not letting me. Why then I just put that bib? I don't know. <clears throat> you guys want to request any French? I'll teach you some French right now. There. Our conservatory has made the lounge roasting. I don't know about you guys if it's, it's cooler in America, isn't it? Where you guys are, mm. I didn't give you a close up of the banana cake, do I? So I think if it needs more, I've never made a dry cake in my life. <clears throat> so it had butter in it. It was supposed to have an eighth of milk in. I'm going to have a cup of milk. It was also supposed to have 
<clears throat> but because the bananas were a bit soggy, I um, didn't put that in, left the milk out, but I did put that ground almond in, didn't I? Which was a solid, I didn't compensate with extra liquids for that, but I did have a whole wheat flour. I added about half a cup of whole wheat, or a third, third of a cup of whole wheat flour to the mix, which was a bit of an issue, really, it shouldn't have had that in. Because that's what made it drier. But I have probably I probably am going to make some more in the future with these frozen bananas we've got. Um so if you guys um no I feel like a broken record, I won't say again. <laughs> Um, I was going to say go visit um, Mike's channel, but I, I, you guys know what Mike does. Not Mike. Oh, Brian, Castle Hives. Um, he's a good networker. He has lovely um, people on his live streams. It's nice to see his videos. Um, all about the beehive and the natural habitats. And um, I'm learning so much about bees and everything that they do. So... It's good fun. Do you want to see what's in my slow cooker? Dried up pork chops. No, I think it's fine. I have not normally been in the habit of basting. I don't know if I can show you guys what's in there or not because of the angle. We can do a bit of basting now. So the idea was from, I think it's called the family crock pot or the family freezer and this lady publishes recipes and this was a sample I mean it is moist actually I just now I've basted it now I've basted it I'm happy um the sauce I would have to reduce to but I'm, I'm at least pleased that there is some dinner ready to scoop onto a plate that has flavour and it's better than pork chops normally traditionally cooked that I found pork chops are always um overcooked and a bit stodgy with my partner coming home at half six sorry Danny she's playing with her little house she's happy she's happy she's playing with the little house this milk's for me some energy for me Chin chin. Um, so with Mark finishing work early, <clears throat> earlier than normal, in theory, he shouldn't be, there shouldn't be an issue with dinner, but I still put Annabelle to bed. If I want to dictate what we eat, I need to cook it basically. Because if I let him cook, it'd be unhealthy stuff and it'd be too late at night and I won't want to eat it. And it won't involve Annabelle. This way, I can save some for Annabelle tomorrow. Or even, <clears throat> she would have a bit of that now, but it's too late now. The idea was the pork would be ready for evening time. So here's my little bags. And then these go into a bigger bag in the freezer. Uh, but I'm going to take a new bag out. <clears throat> This bag can go further back in the freezer so that I can keep the other stuff closer to the front. So I've got brownies in there, I've got, I've even got um, hot cross buns still in the freezer. I know you would, but I've got you this beautiful bowl of berries. Oh, you'd love this. And cream. Ooh, cream for that. That's nice for you, isn't it? Have you me some chocolate? <laughs> I've got you some chocolate. No, you just had cake. Cake is way better than chocolate. Isn't it? No, I want my milk. Oh, I made this amazing cake the other week. It was the best one ever, apparently, according to Mark. So if I get a thumbs up from Mark, then it's good. Can you get my milk? Of course, you want it on your little table? Can you get these at the table? Do you want to move <laughs> You don't have warm milk in that cup. 
cold milk. She's so used to warm milk. I've stopped giving her cold milk. Uh, warm milk. It's a hot day. Let's just deal with the milk situation first. <clears throat> I told you that I can't give you warm milk in that little cup, darling, because it will get it will get too hot in the microwave. Let me make sure washing up. Good girl. You've done well to just change your mind and get on with drinking it nicely. Good girl. The next issue, what's wrong with this? How am I going to get to eat it? <sighs> so, <laughs> who does the cooking in your house, guys? Do you cook? I know um, with James, it's Sherilyn. But do you cook too? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I haven't seen your videos. Um... I haven't seen you cook, I mean, in the videos. It's my partner, if he just comes home and I, if I eat mine whenever and he eats his whenever, it's better. She's off, she doesn't want any food. Fair enough. Fair enough. I'll come back and talk to you guys. I'm just going to do the <clears throat> close up here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you legged it. I thought you'd had enough. With me trying to cut two bits. That's more than enough in those two slices. No, 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 no. You, you've had enough cake. You only have one little bowl of cake, darling. If you put it in a bowl, they don't have as much. Normally, I would eat some of what I've given her and she wouldn't have as much, but I, I wasn't concentrating. She's just taken a little bit of cheese into the lounge. I tell you what, it's so much more relaxing now having a toddler <clears throat> who's able to go into different rooms of the house on their own and not be missing you. I loved how she was so clingy. It was so sweet. But she would love me so much. She didn't like to be without me. She wouldn't let me go for a week <laughs> or anything. Um, but so that is enough for a snack piece, isn't it? It's the kind of I don't eat these after a meal because I think you've got enough food from the meal to keep in the calories. But I think <clears throat> I've put on weight somewhere, so something's not working. I eat more bad food later in the day, actually. No, but that bib was for your fruit, so you didn't wreck your top. Can you pick it on my day? Yes, sweetie. I can't see me! Can you put your head up normally then, not, not between your legs? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Okay. Put some more cream on it. Yeah. <laughs> She's so bonkers. I'm just cheating today, guys. But I did this eat and mess the other day. Normally we have yogurt. I have home. We've got to make some yogurt. You guys can watch me make yogurt. All right. Oh, I can't. No, I can feed you it. Well, no, we're here. We're here in this room. She likes being fed occasionally, but most of the time she eats on her own. Anyway. One little piece first. Mm. She has this comfort thing where she wants to be fed sometimes. You don't, you're, it's in mirror image, Annabelle. If you turn that way, let me turn the whole thing. I've got crumbs, I don't want to get the laptop on all the crumbs. Very weird live stream, but I'm going to rock it a bit longer if I can. If you guys don't mind, if you guys are happy with the, the tone. <laughs> It's, um, <clears throat> Annabelle, come this way, please. <laughs> you wanted me to feed you. <laughs> I mean, if a child wants you to feed them at this age, you, you give them a bit of a nudge, you make sure that they're, you know, oh, do you know, I keep looking at my arms, they're just bigger than they've ever been, but I guess you have to hit rock bottom before you can climb up to the top. But I've been exercising. Oh, that's too much. Can't break it. It's a big raspberry. You love raspberries, don't you? But yeah, if you're trying to watch yeah, the yeah, thing, they yeah, are the yeah. little. They're only little once, aren't they? So I try and give her a bit of a nudge. So anyway, you can do it. You can do it. But occasionally I'll just give in because she's my little girl. It's a blessing if she wants me to feed her. If she wants anything to do with me. <laughs> Sorry for the potty in the background, but. It's next to the toilet, so it's quick and easy for Annabelle to find and use, and there's no 
mess anywhere because it's just mm -hmm. easy to disinfect the floor. So yeah, kitchen. I wonder where everyone else puts their potties in the lounge or we have one in Annabelle's room. <laughs> She's hiding. I love you, don't I? Are you being cheeky on camera? You want some more? Because I'm, I'm going to get... Annabelle, how old are you? <laughs> she's, she's never done this before. Oh, oh dear. I love you to the moon and back. Oh, thank you. Come here, darling. Have some more. Bless her. <laughs> if any peace I get is while I feed her, then I suppose I can just chill out and give her some food. Yeah. Oh, didn't put the lid on my paint. It'll be alright. We can go back up, can't we? <clears throat> so tell me more about you guys. Um, have you got a favourite phrase, a favourite saying <laughs> about children and family and life? You'd like to share? Any stories about your toddlers? I can't get my arm that way without you going everywhere. Come around. <laughs> I want this cake to be put away before it dries out. This is a thing that takes a lot of time. If you're going to be a proper mummy, where you cook for your family, you are organised, you have nutritious food, you have a mixture of, you know, naughty food, house food, and, you know, stuff for the lunch boxes, stuff for snacking on, that kind of thing. Um, you have to be organised. You have to cook your bread, stuff Milky and your vegetables. Meals. Wash up from that. Milky meals. Lovely. You know, you've got to be able to have enough time in that session to let the cake cool, get it out of the pan, chop it up, freeze it down, put it away. If you've got a family of four, you can eat it in a few days, can't you? But we don't. Mm. So I kind of, everything takes a bit more. We've just seen darling. No, I can't leave my laptop, darling. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can we go to the lounge? You can take this in the lounge. I'm going to finish my cake. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so these, because they're in a Ziploc, well, if they're in a Ziploc bag or a, a tie bag, they can easily be taken out of the freezer one by one and put in the lunchbox. She's doing, she's being silly. You're being silly, aren't you? No, don't boss mummy about. That's not nice. She doesn't boss me about. I just like to let her think she can. Down, down, down. Why don't you tell Dolly to sit there? What do you get, Dolly? Big one. Is she on the floor next to George? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Oh, that's cute. Annabelle is lovely with dollies at the moment. She's super, super lovely. She really. She's a superstar. Chatty for two year old. She's two and a quarter. And well, it's three in December, so you can see the age. Um, she's we're in, we're in June now, so she's <clears throat> ooh, two and a half. I no, at the end of June, she'll be two and a half years old. Find a badge. I've got some cheese. <laughs> you didn't Daddy. find a badge to give Dolly, but you found some cheese instead. Okay. And Dolly. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. That was cute. That food, isn't it?
Hmm. I'm going to eat it all, don't worry, you won't go to waste this banana bread. It's not a flop, it's just a bit dry. Um, yeah. Yeah. Put this, put a few slices in the lunchbox. Yeah. I think I'll eat this a little bit. And then we've got plenty, so if I nip out some days, I've got something to shove in the freezer, to shove in the car with me, and nibble on when it defrosts. Cheese, don't you? Baby, yeah, because yeah, you're not eating anymore, are you? No. Well, you can finish your cheese, but you don't need to dump it up a bit of cheese, do you? Only because you've got that pretty dress on. Mm, yeah. <clears throat> well, it's almost cool. It's almost cool when it's properly cooled, I can then put it in the freezer. But at least it's ready to go. Oh, sorry, I thought you guys were in the shop then. I really thought you could see me and Annabelle. So yeah, I've now had to email Victoria about <coughs> going on this show, so it means I've got to make sure I've got childcare <laughs> or Annabelle will be on with me. That's one thing I've got to not mitigate, but make sure I sort out. See, I'm not sit on Mummy life, so <laughs> hashtag mummy life. Um, I've got the pork. Mummy, I've got something mm. to show you. Mm. In the pork was done. A cup of tea in there. Is that? A cup of tea. Come with me. Come with me, mummy. You've got to go and see Annabelle's cup of tea. Yes, darling. Oh, lovely. Two cups of tea and a cake. I'm very, I'm very happy with the cake. Very happy with the cake. Are you going to find your boingy boingy? And that's the strawberry and the cream. Oh, lovely. So, um, <clears throat> Other points I was going to talk about, guys. She's quite warm. Yeah. Today's Hello. plan. Oh, lovely. Do you want to use your paper to wipe the cake off your face? On the bottom. Not your chin, the, the mouth. The mouth. Does it go all over the mouth? There we go. <laughs> Mm, there we go. So I've added this as a little point for each of my videos. It's so backwards I make. <laughs> but, so um, yeah, thank you, Annabelle. Um, the conservatory's made the whole house really hot, but we could open the door, actually. I'm just going to leave it for a minute. Keep the house nice and warm for later. Um, I always put on my banners today's plan and tomorrow's plan. <clears throat> and today's plan is haven't really thought much further than getting that box finished i did have loads more other things planned to do but i have to accept that <clears throat> if you don't have childcare, <clears throat> if 
You can't get everything done. It's so extra. But I have added some content to my Happy channel. Birthday. I've been, I've updated my algorithm Happy on YouTube. Birthday. It isn't my birthday yet. But Annabelle says it all the time. Thank you, darling. Not till July. I need to think about some ideas. Oh, what I didn't get to do was mention when I mentioned Rui earlier. It's your birthday time. Rui suggested. Whoops, it's your birthday time. That I do it's a your birthday. It's your Q and A birthday. video. <clears throat> it's your birthday. Please don't keep shouting. Everyone can hear you shouting. It's your birthday. It's your okay, birthday. if you say it is, then it is fine. Um, <laughs> so, um, so if you have some questions, whatever kind of questions they are, I don't have to answer them, or do I? I can choose the ones I want to answer. I'll make a question and answer video. Um, as one suggestion that Rui said when she watched my video, she said, "Oh, you should do an, you should do a Q and A." And I was like, "Well, how do you get the questions? Do you make them up?" And you know those videos where it says tag. What does that mean? The letters T A G. How on earth do those letters link to, or does the word tag? How does that link to question and answer? If you tag someone, how on earth? I just don't have a clue. So if you could clarify that for me, because I would never call a video tag because I wouldn't know what it means. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. So tonight, I've got what, another half an hour before my partner comes home, but dinner's ready, so he won't be moaning. <laughs> um, and then, and then after that, so he'll come home and do his own thing. Really, Annabelle should be upstairs, <clears throat> out the way, so if he's got any coronavirus germs then he can wash them away and then see her i think i'll put annabelle in the bath Daddy. about half six actually boo. hippity hoppity boo. Hippity, hoppity, boo okay um so then she'll be able to um so i, I don't know i haven't really planned the rest of the day i was thinking of doing a small live stream for the daytime and then doing a detailed stream of <clears throat> Planning the birthday, the baby gifts, making beautiful boxes out of them. Annabelle, I'm going to go in the other room. Is that all right? Yeah, and you can still bang then. I'll go in the other room. So don't want you to not have fun banging about. Oh, bash your breakfast party. <laughs> what did you say? Oh, it's your breakfast party. Alright, but you're banging about on video, sweetie, and it's not nice to hear all that banging. Alright, oh, thank you. I think I'll have just just for now, just for a minute. Okay? It's your birthday candle. It's your birthday. Birthday? I taught you to speak nicely. Birthday. Is that daddy? Birthday. Birth birth birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> I'm just trying to pacify her, really. Um, so I wasn't going to do a live stream later, but because I've done this one now, I don't think I'll do one after 8 o'clock. Will you keep making all this noise? I've come out here. Uh, this is Annabelle. If you just join me. Hmm? You're so happy, aren't you, right now? Looks like we're going to the lounge because she won't let up for a little while. Uh, so, yeah, I did have some goals and some plans, but I'm just going to have to focus on my efforts on getting the box painted because that's the one thing that takes the longest, painting, letting it dry, painting, letting it dry, varnishing, letting it dry, and then applying the decal. So probably going to be more painting tonight, and then tomorrow's plan, who knows? <clears throat> I would like to get doing some more YouTube and networking. Birthday candle. Well, you keep shouting.
Okay. And I was going to have a run around outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is where I realise it's actually freezing out there. You know, in French, the word for conservatory and in Spanish um, is winter garden. Which makes sense. I can't open the camera. Okay. So in French, it's jardin d'hiver, garden of winter. And in Spanish, oh no, is it jardin de invierno? Sala de invierno. I actually have forgotten about the Spanish side, maybe not. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see, there's no sun, there's no sun. We have, oh, toys, are the, some yellow toys that have attracted some. Just, I just thought if I bring you outside, it's quieter. Hmm. There's some toys there that I rescued. <laughs> I've cleaned them, I left them out last night. I was just so tired last night, <clears throat> cleaning everything. And um, it's warm enough for me to just chill out here and sit out here. Yeah, that's better. So. Tomorrow's Wednesday. What are you guys doing tomorrow? Are you guys working, staying at home? Oh, you can, because I'm here. <laughs> Bless your heart. He's lid. He's lid. He's the lid. I don't know where she gets this word, these words from. No, you can come out and pick a bit. Come on. I don't know why she's hesitating. Cold. Cold. We've had this a lot like this. Head down. Oh, cold. <laughs> I don't know. She's a <clears throat> little firecracker. Bless her. Yeah, so I'm going to have to get focused for tomorrow. Look at my to do list again and double check everything that I have to do. Um, I think I'm going to go in a minute when it hits 2 hours 45 that is a very very good innings for live and I'm very very grateful to have everybody here um, I might miss Lydia bless her because if she comes back and then we go um, that seems a bit sad that we come and then she just leaves but it's probably better to leave before she comes back because Annabelle's getting a bit um, vibrant shall we say and I'm running out of stuff to say <clears throat> So it's time for me to go through my slides uh, gratitude and say thank you so much for watching. If you've got this far, um, then that is brilliant. Really appreciate your views and watch time. And the, the boost it gives me, it just gives me a little booster in my day to know that I've got people to talk to and um, you've given me some great ideas. A bee box, little beehive box. I can definitely make... Um, cute little toy box with the theme on it, and also Grandad's potting box, box for
Oh my gosh, I forgot to add myself back to the stream. It told me to add myself. So add your, uh, make sure you're subscribed to Adventures in Reselling Dash Victoria because I'm going to be on her show at some point. I've got to plan it with her now and email email her to get that up. Um, and then look out for my. And if I does have better manners than to say I want, but she seems to have got away with it while I've been on this live. The little one, sweetie. Please. Um, but um, yeah. So that's going to be the next kind of theme. But I will, if anybody wants to do an interview, will I interview them. Then uh, let's talk, and I'll do a live video interview, and um, <clears throat> we'll see how it goes. See how my interview style goes. Just thought it was something fun to do. So if you fancy that, ping me a message. Um, on DM me on Instagram or Facebook. My details are right here. There we go. MLS Natasha. So you can do facebook.com slash MLS Natasha. Same with Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. My Pinterest was, was shut down because one of my businesses, I used too many posty posts, promotional posts, and they took me off. And I was like, what, no appeal, no nothing? I was like, oh, great. So I lost that username. Still can't re-register it. But never mind. So now it's time for me to say goodbye. And if you have any questions to put on my Q&A, video then pop them in the comments below and say my question is i'm gonna say bye now guys i'll see you in the next video bye thank you so much subscribe thumbs up and all the rest of the stuff and be cool no that's a really sad way to end take care